Hello everybody, hello. Let's just check in case my mic is sounds like a robot. Check in case my mic yep, sounds perfectly fine. Nice. Cool. So I've been looking forward to this game for a while. Play that alligator. It's uh all I know really is that it's got lots of really cute animated alligators and there's nice jazz. And it's got puzzles and stuff, and it looks really great. And I haven't played it yet, I just installed it and I was waiting to stream it. Uh let me just Turn down the volume a little bit. So there's a bit of that. Cool. Uh, I like the cursor, it's like a paw. Cool. Yeah, this music is so good. Oh, look at this cute gator. It's so sad. No company. But please, thank you. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is just the options menu. Cool. Uh, cups. Coffee. Kitchen. Uh... Um... No hablo ingles. No hablo espanol. No hablo sotol. Not even one hablo. It's Pat. Hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so maybe you move on, please. Okay. Okay, you got me. I'll come clean. Oh, this animation is so cute. I'm sorry for being so rude before. I'm just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you've got such soulful eyes. I can totally see the entirety of so I can feel safe with you, stranger. See, usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the continental breakfast, eating two soaps and a complimentary bath basket. But this year, I've got a problem. Oh my god, this is so cute. I can't help but smile even though this guy is sad. A real big problem. A real big uh, RO problem. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out for squealing. Also, sorry if I stumble on words a bit, I've got dyslexia. I didn't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of honest eyes and secret just start flowing out my snoot. Aw, oh, the snoot. See? I'm doing it right now. Oh, cheese and crackers. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna be rubbed out. So let me turn down my mic a bit, because I think it's a bit loud. There we go. Cool. Oh, no. To Tony, even told, even told, even told me I have to meet him upstairs at the shop for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family's gonna come, come, yeah, it's gonna come to really show me how it's done. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna sleep with the fishes. I have a shellfish allergy, <laughs> and my asthma acts up when they get too overlooked. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, Sheldon now. Is it Sheldon from, like, Rocco's Van Life? Now my ass makes up when I get too waterlogged. Wait a sec. You are interested in me, right? You want me to sip me for me for breakfast and everything? Do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you go out and talk to my family about Alligator in New York City. Find out information, your event, and report back to me. Yeah, this is a great idea. Together, we can collect enough info to, to, to save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Great. I'll text you if I need any help. H how about you got the help? 
How you do? Great. I'll take a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 50 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. So make sure you check with me for, for brunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities I, while investigating, it could take time. Time I don't have. Because I'm going to have a murder done on me. <laughs> I'm okay. Think of the beach pad. Remember what Dr. Doodle Snoop told <laughs> Dr. Doodle Snoop. <laughs> oh. uh, anyways, thanks so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel bad just for, just looking at your super kind and invisible face. It totally isn't a player character. And be careful out there. The last thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. We need to find a double bed in this economy. See you later, friend. Stay safe. Who this? Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up there in the corner of your screen. Oh, thanks. I didn't see that before. We provide all our trace uh, patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. <laughs> Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment and exit and lunch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up, since that arrow is vintage. <laughs> and known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, asbestos, and a combination of rat poison and cilantro. Please feel free to visit again here at John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. <coughs> cool. Uh, so what's this? Oh shit, so we actually have like a- we have, we have a clock. Oh, shit, I'm gonna be late. Okay. Oh, I love this music. <gasps> oh, yes. It's like a TV show. Look at this foreground blur. Oh, it's so good. This reminds me a lot of, like, Sam and Max. Who this? Slick Mickey. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't... I'm above asking for five. So you walk and now John Johnny's over there and says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. A vision in pinstrap stays. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you're like an alligator of an exceptional taste. As well as one who might like to dabble in the high stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. No, don't actually feel me. I've got a skin condition. <laughs> They call me Slick for a reason, and according to my doc, I ain't going away unless I use some of that topical cream at night. But I ain't gonna listen to me about listen to some jabroni with smarty certificate. You know what I'm saying? All my smocks come from the street, which is also where I got the skin condition. <laughs> and my, I'm impolite to lower back tattoo. Boom. Pat. The event. Hmm? My name's Mickey, but everyone calls me Oh King of the Cards. Well, that one guy I did, before I got yelled at a fence for stop stealing his email passwords. Then his pants fell down. Then he fell down into an open manhole. I have it go on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people that night, so bada bing. Yo card trick at your service. Oh! Are you talking about Pat the Alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. This accent is going everywhere. One time when we was kids, our skies got locked out of CCD after recess and missed the juice and cookie time. Oh no, not the juice and cookie time. We only had one granola bar between us, but good old Pat gave me the bigger half. I'll always <laughs> remember that. No. I ain't crying. I spit on my eyes as a display of street toughness. The event. Oh, you know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub. It's a real secret affair, you dig? Ain't nobody supposed to be going about telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed, just like they're sealed when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. Maybe, though. Just maybe. If I play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. Do, do, do alligators have lips? 
You think you can keep an eye on this fur fingers and find the queen? Stay on your guard. Keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey. <laughs> With a little stamp. I'll play, sure. Mickey's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the card to foil his plans. Alright, keep your papers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. She's gonna go. Where is she gonna go? Oh shit. I'm already lost. Fuck. Uh, guys, I, I, I don't know which card it is. Is it this one? Is this one? Who's this one? <laughs> Monkus. <laughs> His face. Let's go this one. Yeah. Why do I flick it? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know who won. <laughs> who knows which way the wind blows or some junk. Win. You got a family member back. Oh, jeez. Anyways, about the event. Well, it, you ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. The whole family's been talking about it for months. Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. It's a surprise birthday party. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts where I'll do <gasps> How'd the card come back? He's a magician. Shout out to you, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. Those dermatology copays are a real kick in the alligator pants if you feel me. Ho! Oh. The trolley ain't here yet, so on you go. Why don't you use check out check out the arcade arcade? What's use? I'm re I'm thinking I should have gone with an actual like New York accent for this, but I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking more of the I don't know. Me got banned from the, for the slick fingers coming up the machines because there's epidermis epidemic. <laughs> but that ain't me. But that, yeah. But that ain't mean. You gotta suffer the same fate. Okay. John Johnny's or oh, this place. <laughs> Unknown. Uh, hello. Is this by any chance the first time an alligator in New York City? I mean, in the city city, not um, Alligator Long Island or something. It is. Who's this? I thought so. So, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry if that's weird, I just thought you'd like, I could text you some tips. The city is really big, and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. It is, is it okay if I hit you from time to time? Sure. Ah, great. I'll be sure to text you again soon, don't forget to enjoy yourself. Cool. I love this music, holy shit. Dude, it's arcade machines. Look at this cool cat. Hey there. You up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you? I'd remember such a visible face like yours. Now look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I'm just being a little frazzled since last night. I had dreamed that I was a skee ball, and some sticky fingered kid kept throwing me in a ten point hole. Go for fifty, dingus! I tried to yell, being a being a ball and all. The ding dong couldn't hear me. I woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast were black coffee and half a can of leftover candy cigarettes. Oh, man. Oh. 
I know a lot of people that are this character. <laughs> and it's great. Hoomst. The name's Joni. Or Bal Is that Baloney? Balona? Balogna? I think it's Baloney. I've never actually seen it written out. If you're a fourth grade bully, come to fight come back to fight me. You're you're not, right? Sam? Anyway, I'm here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping the floors and keeping the games running smooth as a baby's bum in behind. I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I left to be closer to my gaming hobby. They let me keep the leather jacket, though. And a company hairstyle. Oh, yeah. Pat's my cousin, and also the most genuine Duke I know. So you'd be nice to me here. I wouldn't... I wouldn't love to pop... Yeah. I wouldn't want to have to pop you. I don't know what pop you one means. I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left... Oh, means like punch. Okay, sorry. I didn't I didn't understand that. I'm told I got a mean left hook. And a moderately insulting right hook. <laughs> and a kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. Oh, I love the writing in this game so much. I tried to sign up for some Carmen hot yogurt at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever got kicked by your own leg? It ain't great, bud. <sighs> it ain't great. The event. Look, I know you're here for spying, for pet, for whatever reason, and that's fine, but I can't tell you your family secrets, you feel me? To go out there and fill, you'd have to really impress me. Okay, sure. Challenge accepted. I like that eyeliner, like it's great. So what do you think? Can you roll the ball all time? I'm talking pinball. The old pinny bee, as I like to call it, against the advice of both my friends, family, and a supportive therapist I see on Thursdays. I got the highest score on lizard wizards here eight months running, but I'm always looking for a real pinhead to pin my skills against. So what do you say? Care to take on a pinball lizard like me? I didn't mean to make the joke. I, I take this very seriously. The old Pinny B beat their score or go for more. Sure. Click the plunger to launch the pinball. When the ball's in play, control the flippers by clicking R and L and use... Uh, oh shit, arrow keys. Okay. I haven't used arrow keys in years. Okay, cool. Beat 5,000 points. Let me see, does it use what? Does it use... It? AD? No, it doesn't. It has to use arrow keys. Okay, cool. Uh, plunger. Whippy. I'm amazing at this game, by the way. I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, oh, I really like the art on it. Look at that wizard. Wizard lizard. Ooh, ah. <gasps> no! Oh, I beat 5,000. Oh, okay. It always gets... I guess I should have reacted to the right faster. though. Shit. Got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Hey, it's been a long time since I got seen moves like that. I was absolutely trash. See moves like that from the lizard wizards here. Got that ball hitting the downheads of, of who's so fast. I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. Found a puzzle piece. Oh, jeez. I like how it says, oh, jeez. About the event. Now, this might just be a rumor, but word on the streets go into some some sick games there. Not pinball, per se, but, you know. But, yeah. But, you know, you, know, you take what you can get. Anyway, that's all I could say. I better get back on the grind trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me the supple wrist pinhead. 
Catch you. Oh, Monka. Catch you later. <laughs> Why do we always gotta come here? This place is dumb. You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in a dump is not being invited to a dump to begin with. Like you're too trashy for 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 other trash, which is unnervingly close to an ent an entry from a dream journal last week. Hi. Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bunny. I'm lining up a stick. You gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've evolved. I've enveloped my horses in a safety of tender, meaningful embrace all night, waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. How, how, how come you never hold me like that, Ron? Aww. The train plan. Yeah. The train movie remake was passable. If you ask me, nothing beats the part of the original where the train leaps in the air and the harness holding the track to brakes. Stay after the credits, you can see the footage where, the, where, where he falls into the camera guy in the makeup of his holding two coffees. Or this person. <gasps> hey up there! Long arms! You got a sec! Nice suit! What a fancy reptile like you do at the back of the arcade! I know what you're after! That's right, I've got you pegged for just looking at you! You want cold, hard, plush! Oh yes. Oh shit, she knows. Well, you, yeah, you found the right alligator! I've got a job that'll pay both our retirements and poorly made stuffies. You might be a humble... You might see a humble car machine, but this is a fault! Quick to the break in! But we can't just walk in! No, there's countermeasures. Sometimes, Norma the security guard comes by, and I'm not allowed to put my car chair in the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not tall enough to wear the car. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are. See behind here? That's one hailing power strip juicing up every one of these babies. One wrong move in pinball and boom! <coughs> this place lights up like chemistry teacher's hair when turned with Bunsen burner too high. Oomst. Me? I'm known around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the car machine. You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints, and Johnny Lord doesn't have a clue. Oh, Johnny Boyer from my geography class. Well, at least that's what he said when I asked him to the spring flare. Huh? Also, let me double check my mic. Okay, cool. Just in case it goes rubber. Also, it sounds like I might, my mic might be a little bit... Actually, I think the volume might just be really loud. Let me just turn it down. You know, the music is great. Just in case everything's a little bit too loud. There we go. Cool. Oh, I skipped that rip. One time, a dead show, Pat pulled a fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. Turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. No one could find him for us now until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall crawl space. He was covered in spiders and eating the pizza. But was always unharmed. Physically, anyways. That guy's pretty weird. I, I kin Pat so hard. I'd love to tell you about the event, but I really would. This is our first time on the job together, Mac. You haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. A claw machine. It's a two-man operation. I need someone who's gotta sell sell me down who's not gonna sell me down the river for additional prizes when plush comes to shove. You feel me? <coughs> What do you say, old timer? One last claw machine score, a big one. I cannot do that voice. <laughs> Grab the prizes, and she is advises. The claw school. Oh, look at that bread. I want the bread. Let's get this bread. 
Follow Sweet Geraldine's instructions to get a perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane. When you're ready to grab, click the center button. Oh my god. It's got whistles as well, it's KK Slider. KK Slider is trapped in the machine, we need to save him. Oh my god, this music is fucking great. Let me just appreciate it for a bit. This music is fucking amazing. Okay. Here she is! The big... Wait, how do you say that? Quesad... Was that ques ques quesadilla? Que I think it might be quesadilla. I know. It must be Spanish. Here she is! The big quesadilla! The mother load! Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes! I've had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but I need my need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall paste tall I thought it said pasty. Tall patsy like you can push the button and see the prizes. Oh fuck. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the I love the word snoots. It's the best word. First just warm up the tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Go on, old timer. Show me what you got. Round one. Um. Shit, what do we want? I'm kind of feeling those gems because they look very tasty. Hmm. Oop. Oh, there's a delay. Aw, oh, rip. Oh, I got one anyway. I heard a prize. Let's check the slot. Yeah, pretty pedal pure. Something I'd watch 600 episodes in the rapt of attention. Cosplay as and plug about. But on the plush off? I got standards for what the laurels rest upon my bank do eh? So we'll see how this goes. You have some chops. I respect that. But now the real job begins. How will you react when the pressure's on? This time, you follow my lead. The scale sheen is the most popular toy in school right now. Grab the cute chubby gator blush for me. Where? This? And this? Oh, it's this probably. <gasps> Yoink! You got one! What is it? Scale sheen is so cute! It's so shiny! And you, and you said the sheen might be causing bright face blindness, blindness. But the vague blur I can make out doesn't look dangerous to me. Look at her dance. The happy dance. You're really good at this. It's finally time for the big score. And see in your eyes, you're ready to get the ultimate prize. Get me the doll from the best, most awesome video game and franchise of all. Final Frenzity. It's the dreamy one, with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one. What was it, this guy? The sword. <laughs> this is Batman, like, some kind of Batman, like, shoved in there. Oh shit, this is gonna be hard. I need to, like, I need to try and, like, maneuver them out of the way. Nice, okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Yoink! Yes, got it. Did you get it? The ultimate prize? Oh. Oh, and keys! Can't believe you got the dreamiest anime boy from Final Frenzy. Claude Stripes. Claude. His hair is almost as prickly as his social interactions with women. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. Win. Oh, my voice is gonna hurt now. I can't believe it! The big score! And thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. I thought she was actually gonna, like, have us break into the machine and just, like, yoink it out. Nice. Oh, jeez. Tell you what, what do you need to know? The event is a secret! I'm a gator, not a rat. 
That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine, Master Criminal. I got thoroughly jaked. Let's see how these guys are doing. The grown man can Oh man, that feels so much smoother now compared to the other one. The grown man can come to a children's arcade and unwind by hitting things with a stick and yelling swears. Sw <gasps> he swore he swore guys. This guy's this guy's gonna swear. <gasps> what kind of alligator country are we living in? There's there's just two rules if you wanna rack up and game with me. Be cool, shoot pool, and stay in school. And don't bring up how I never learned to count. <laughs> Mood. What's, what time is it now? <gasps> Shit, this has been like one and a half hours! <clears throat> it's the third game I lost in a row. You're too good at this, Bon. I know. Come on, what's the secret? Muscle, hustle, and rustle. Rustle? Ma. Nah. A holistic dentist. After he screams in my mouth to stop soft jazz, we hit the pool. Pool hole downtown. Okay. I think we got everything here. <gasps> More gamers. What was this guy's voice again? Fuck. It was like Cajun the way I lose the anything. Hey bub! You're just in time for the trolley to get here him got here a minute ago. Why don't you check out check out city? Bring me down a hot, bring Mickey down a hot dog or some predictive hand wear. I'm gross! Oh! I assume that's what it's always at the end. It's like Animal Crossing where they all have like a little catchphrase at the end. Oh, who's this person? Oh. Uh, Daryl. You ever eat at John Johnny's here? The food's alright, but that bottomless chowder bowl was a disaster. I picked that thing up, and bam! Child pants the rest of the day. Oh dear. Oh god, I'm doing that voice again. Fuck. I don't know how to do any other female voice. Uh, oh dear. I think I might have left my scrapbooking scissors at home. On accident. Oh, I found my scissors. It must have been your approach that gave me good luck, stranger. He. I'll be trying to get outside, do the home... Outside the home more blah, blah, since I had a new baby. Now that's watching her today, so here I am, out in the world. It's a little nerve wracking to be away from the nursery after those bumps, to be honest. <laughs> I already miss all the new baby smells. Well, not all the smells. They all know my things come out of babies, the sweet fragrance of cute little heads. Well, even that stuff is a little cute. Whoomst. <laughs> I'm Maria. It's wonderful to meet you. I was heading to the YAC- What is the Y- Is it YACA or Yakka? I'm just gonna say Yakka. Before I went to you. I'm taking class here, today on scrapbooking. But I'm a little early. Look at that dance. Look at that dance. Wee. I'm gonna wait here in the lovely weather until the class on mom yoga and self-defense ends. Eat, pray, shove, hee <laughs> Do you mean my son, Pat? I'm just so proud of him. It's his birthday today. <gasps> I knew it was a surprise birthday. I knew it. Yes. It's his birthday today. Do you know? He's so funny with how he treats himself to a hotel stay every year on on the day. He just loves that continental breakfast. And those three tiny soaps. I was just about to say. And the two soaps. I do get concerned when he eats a lot of those, however. Such shouldn't be, should, such shouldn't be coming out the stoot of a boy that age. A lovely Maria. Do you have any is actually why I'm talking, taking this class today? Actually, since you're one of Pat's friends, maybe you can help the mom out. You see, I'm trying to put together our family tree to bring tonight as a surprise, but I don't have any for real one's pictures. It's so hard for all of us to get together in one place these days. I don't think anyone like me could use, like me, yeah, I don't think, I don't think anyone would, okay. I don't think anyone would like me to use their photos from early 2000s. We all made some questionable wardrobe decisions back then. Since you're already going around the town, would you mind snapping some pictures of the family? Some non-consensual picture taking? 
and then you get them bring back up on the family tree. Oh my god, can I like take pictures of them doing like weird stuff so I can just catch someone like dabbing? <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the best. <gasps> up in the family tree. Maybe if you get them all, something good will happen. Oh, I see you've only got one there. Would you like me to put it in? Here, you know mine as well. Don't want anyone feeling lonely. Nice. I remember badge. Oh, that's what these are. Okay. Let's see how many you've landed so far. Oh, look. Uh. Cool. I don't know where these go. Collect the fam and uncover the scam. What? Scam plot? Social intrigue. Click and drag the alligator portraits into a position on the family tree. Come back any time to see your collection. We assume like she would go down like near the bottom, right? So she's like the youngest. Is that how it works? I, I, I haven't seen the family tree, like. Unless they'd probably be at the top. They'd be at the top or the bottom if they're youngest. If it's a tree, then probably if they're youngest, they'd be at the top near the branches, now that I think about it. Let's see if they, like, stick if I put them in the right place. This guy's, like, old, so he's probably, like, down here. She looks like they're the youngest, probably, besides the baby that was mentioned. Alright, let's just wait until we have more evidence, more things, more data. Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. <laughs> hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. <laughs> well, they gave me a coupon I told me have a nice day. But that could mean anything! Oh my god. I relate. Dude. Best in Alligator City. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. Hello, sad boy. Ah, uh, don't bop me! Oh, bop. <laughs> I just imagine, like, booping the snoot. That's what bop is. What's this guy's voice? Oh, it's like Sheldon. Oh, oh, it's you! My new friend! Sorry, I saw a shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending on me on the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They could improvise. Didn't you have... Didn't you have Dara when you were in elementary school? You know, Dara, dude, assassins, really exist. At least, I think that's the acronym I was... Uh, the acronym? I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter pa Factory in elementary school. Anyway, did you find out anything about the, from the family? What? Well, uh, yeah! I know they sound nice, but they might just be f fluffing you up, you know, buttering your bread roll or to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. M maybe you should go to the hotel room and not feel safer there. And that's Logie with bread. Let's go. Aww, look at him. I wanna hug him. Find the code to Pat's abode. My safe place. Help Pat back into his hotel room. Help Pat with his outdated website. Help Pat remember his room code. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk with me to my room. The wallpaper here is a little intense. Yeah, I know. It's like, look how busy those flowers are. It's like the, the flowers are coming out of the wall to eat you. It's horrifying. Was that tentacle on those flowers? 
I feel like it is. This is actually just Eldritch Horror. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Yeah, I know. There's eyes in the flowers. Oh my goodness. I love the sound effect when it's going boop, 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 boop. Reminds me of Animal Crossing a lot. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take 10 more hours of waiting. What's the event? Why I squeal the beans on? Cheese and, oh, cheese and crackers. I think cheese and crackers is like swearing. Look at that. Look at that gate. Yeah. Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing. I got a special lock in my hotel room door. Just though something I picked up on the hardware store. I was worried I'd get nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website, www.alligator.fun. I'm so glad I planned ahead. I like this music. There it is, that's probably it. Nice. Oh, here we are! This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unob unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go go on my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? That's www.alligator.fun. I really want to go go inside. And Wait, is that actually a website? Holy shit! I wonder if it is. www.alligator.fun. Shit, it is! And it's not secure. Oh no. Wait, how can I, um. Uh, properties. Uh, look at this shit. Look at this website. This is Pat's homepage. Create. Generated by Geo Scalies. <laughs> and it's got all these old gifts, but they're like crocodile. Crocodile. Wow. This is all the people who've been to it. Cutie. Life is a beach thingy. Uh, oh, that's allow JavaScript. This can't go wrong. It's even got like the moon. I, I, I feel like this is intentional, they're like. Missing bitmap images. Warning, warning, warning. Sorry, under construction. I hope this isn't the code. It's meant to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so that's just the number. It was constantly changing. Uh, don't click Pat only. If you are not Pat, you you're breaking the law. <gasps> guys, we're breaking the law. Fuck. Cut the stream. <laughs> This has been reported to the computer, please. 91619. Okay. 91619. <gasps> you did it! Yeah! Cool. Oh my god, it's actually a website! <laughs> that was great! Oh. You did it! Thanks so much! <gasps> no! What's the ball? The jelly! What? I, I can't close it! What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! Uh, shit, what was, what was it again? I already closed it. Uh, but. Uh, nine, one, six, one, nine. Monka, what the fuck? Oh my gosh! <gasps> Hello! My word, this is quite a mess. Who are you two? And why have you opened my door? Oh. Who? Who am I? I'm Pat. It's some of my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But this is my door. Where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But if that's true. Eh, my password still worked. 
It's your clock on my coat. <laughs> just doing the obvious. <laughs> Same hat. <laughs> Look at the animation. Oh, it's your lock code 91619. It's your lock code 91619. We have the same lock code. And our families are both trying to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> My god. What is going on? <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life, we are both being total best friends. <laughs> like ships in the night, Mr. Pat. Anyway, just don't tell anyone what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you. Endlessly. Okay. That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? What is this music? I hope that guy's room is okay. That stuff kind of smells- wait, well, I didn't hear it. It smells like bleh. I like his walk. Dude, I want a plush toy of that right now. He is so huggable. Look at that face. Oh, there we go. That's probably it. Ah, it's my actual room. So similar. No wonder I mix them up. Well, oh, shit, what was it again? Nine, one, six, one, nine. Cool. Thanks! I never would have remembered that on my own. Neither would I, I have to keep checking. Come on in. I already forgot this guy's voice, but I don't know, I like it like this. <gasps> Look at that! I love that shirt. Oh my god, his diary. Look at these shirts. Phew! I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I can really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text- wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's shirts here. Which means he's naked. Fuck. That's lewd. You know, just in case you get distracted, doing a collection of menial tasks format in an enjoyable manner. Sorry, like that. Yeah, oh jeez. I love this music. I really, I, I want to get the soundtrack afterwards. Holy shit, this is great. Bye for now. Hoi. Look at those dreamy eyes. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. Uh, what's the time? Ten thirty. Uh, cool. Let's, uh... Is there anything new? Oh, we got a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, it's like, a, uh, It's like Professor Layton, where you get those coins for, like, clicking on interesting things. Like that. The Brodega! Oh shit, it's Pyrian. Oh shit. <gasps> I didn't know you could move! I didn't know you could drag the screen! I'm a dummy! <gasps> Look at this guy! He's invisible. Fifth William the <laughs> Fourth. Oh boy, that side bar looks tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her. But I usually leave when someone calls the Argent police, or I slip and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. Nice. Uh... I like the, uh, like, curvature of this. That's kind of how I feel whenever I look at big buildings in a town. I just look at it and I'm like, whoa, that's really big! And it's just... It's really, it's really strange. Okay, how do I go to the trolley? Is this the trolley? Do I just click on it? Um... Oh, this is the trolley down here on the right. I am lying, sorry. I'm very bad at paying attention to things. Welcome to my beautiful city, Mayor Wibblyfin. Wibblyfin. <laughs> Wibblyfin. Fun facts! See the Alligator New York City Alligator Opera prevent, presents Alligator Pag... 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 Paglia... Paglia... Pagliacci? Pagli... Pag, I assume it's Italian? Pagliacci? I'm not sure what that is. 
Peg Pegliacci. Booming bug economy. Free hot dogs on Fridays. A map of Alligator, New York City. The Fun District, which I think we're at. Alligator Memorial Park and the unsavory part of town. Let's go to Memorial Park first. <laughs> we got this guy. Uh, oh. Someone we actually talked to. <gasps> Unknown. Hey again, your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? I have. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things that you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like, unlock something, or make a small blanket for our family of chili squirrels. Aww. The world is so bright, Nevla. So have fun look- So have lots of fun looking around. Cool. Nice. Uh... Uh, okay, cool. I just need to check every so often in case my mic is doing the blip, 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 blip thing, which it randomly does. Please don't click and drag the grass. <sighs> Resisting the urge to not... Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Gentle Lorenzo. Broline, 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 Broline. I'm begging you, dude. Please give me... Please give me a hand. Uh, 901. 902. 903. Yeah. Oh, that's the highest number I know. It's like, this is enough. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Brosephine. Brosephine. Bro! I didn't see you there. Shrouded in total shadow by a monolith of my beefy bod. You're not gonna start hitting me with a bone like, like the last one, are you? Huh. Don't worry. It happens to me all the time. Who? Hmm? Me? People call me Lorenzo. God, all these voices just sound the same, Puck. On account of it being my name. Oh my god, that's such a good thing to say, holy shit. People call me Lorenzo on account of it being my name. I work downtown at the Brodega Fitness Center at the Mini Mart, being inspirational, aspirational, and non-recreational. I'm very serious about my job, bro -san. Pat? Oh, look at this boop boop boop, he's bouncy. Pat, bro, that's for real my big bro. Well, not big, big, but he's kind of a mild, medium-sized bro as far as alligator brothers go. He's like mid-sized sedan of brothers. Me? Well, I like the sport utility vehicle of brothers. Assertively large, but little empty feeling inside. Then? You mean tonight? I'll tell you the truth, bro, that I was sworn in secrecy. A Mayana over a bottle of whey protein and a stack of those muscle magazines I keep hidden under my bed. My strong jaw is strongly closed. The woo. Though, despite my problem free, GMO free lifestyle, I am having a muscle tissue issue that could use some help with. You see, my visceral hugeness and perf perfect health has been causing a totally terrible rift in most of my important relationships in my life. That's right, I'm talking about my bird, who is my best bro in the entire galaxy. Best bros forever. See Tiny Terrence here? He just can't seem to bulk up. Maybe on the account of his name. But also because of his love for watching television and... Complaining on the internet instead of complaining at the gym like me. I've tried to help little Terry here beef up so we can roll with the impossibly huge crew. <laughs> the Im impossibly huge crew. <laughs> but he just hasn't reached his full bird potential. I can't stand the f to force my favorite broski to literally and figuratively live in my enormous shadow every another day. I need to drink something for my fucking throat. So when they say bro, bro, I like all these bro, like, combinations. Bro, Samina, can you do me a solid and make him more solid? Fortify your board and get with the squad. Flappy bro. Cool. Click to make the bird flap his mighty wings. 
collect the healthy foods and proteins to make him, make him strong. Avoid the exercise equipment. It hurts. Oh shit. I don't think I've actually played Flappy Birds. This is a new experience, but I, I am aware of it. Alright, bro, you can do this. Flex those wings. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I avoid those. Shit. Fuck. I was like right next to it. This is hard. There's no way to like rapidly like lower. I'm aware of. Ooh. So I should just play low. Okay, I can jump up quickly if needed. Oh! Swollness. Oh, look at those legs! Keep going! Terrence is anyone! Oh, nice. It reset my limes. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my eyes. My eyes are going weird now. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, heck. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God, this is hard. I keep missing them. Nice. Oh, I need to bounce into it. I guess I could, like, if I'm too high, I could, like, do this to, like, rapidly lower. Oh, Chad Modakvin. My true strength is my emotional maturity. <laughs> yes. This is just an expression of my larger commitment to self-care. Oh shit, what's going on? I can't see what's going on! Stop flexing in the way, mate! You're massively inconveniencing my playtime experience here. I cannot see the foods. Oh fuck. Oh shit, this is kind of hard. At least for me. My eyes are going like weird trying to pay attention to like what's going ahead and then my where my character is. All of this. Terry, bro, I'm so proud of you! Win, yeah! You got a family member badge. Oh jeez. Big family. Big guy. I'm flexing my eye sockets as hard as I can. It's so like it's like keep tears from flowing. But it's only barely working. I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. Not so my calves, so I start falling over on, from my ball ballast like core. About the event tonight. Well, it doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry though. I bring my own scale, and I've only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce in prep. I gotta look my best for my little bro. Thanks again for helping out my help out Terry here, bro Olivia. Every time we're popping, particularly gnarly squat, we'll make sure to think of you. That's cool. It's person in distance, I need to click on them. What? Wanna, um, hear something neat? I... Do you know, um, do you know that the gazebo here is haunted by, um, like, a hundred go million ghosts? Oh, 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 that's, that's true. My cousin Giovanni killed me, so... That's why I'm looking over here. You know, just in case I can meet one of our, uh, so we can be friends. It'd be nice to have a ghost pal, instead of being ghosted by pals. Whom? I'm Skids, but my mom usually calls me the other one, or who who left this here? Sometimes Bonnie Milligan calls me Squids at recess. My, my teacher says it's just cause she likes me. But I think it's cause of sometimes I smell little fishies in my bedroom and spare you it's the spare utility freezer in the back porch. There's a lot of fish in the, fish in the freezer. I don't know why I gave this guy such a deep voice. I think Pat's my cousin. Like, the cousin that comes after a cousin? 
like the sequel to a cousin, the second cousin. Like, I like Pat. He shares his meatballs with me and always plays fun games. Like this one time, we both ran in circles to see who could do it the most. Pet won and only threw up a little. He's so cool. Giovanni. Yeah, I'm so excited because I'll get to see Pat and Giovanni. But I'm not supposed to talk about it because it's a surprise. It's a surprise birthday party, guys. I'm pretty sure it's a surprise birthday party. I might talk about it a little if you play games with me, though. While I play hide and seek, I'm practicing. Oh shit, this will be really bad for me. <laughs> Let the kid win and you'll see him again. Wait, what? And you'll see him again. Hide and sheesh. Okay. This kid thinks he's hot stuff in hide and seek. Wait for him to hide, then help him win. It's the KK slider music again. I'm gonna hide now. Hmm. <laughs> I'm hidden. <gasps> Guys, I don't know if my screen's frozen, but I can't see anything. Like, what the fuck? Shit. I I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know where he is. Um. Hmm. Yeah. I heard some giggling. Fuck. Um. Shit. <laughs> I did so good. He looked ever except for where I was. Oh shit, he was there! Oh, I didn't see that. One more, one more. What's all those sounds? That's like a train samurai. Hurry up, I'm hidden. Hmm. Maybe he's here again. Maybe on the roof? Hmm. <gasps> what, what is that? Wait. Is that a new patch of grass? Oh, shit. What's this? <laughs> I hit so good. You looked ever except for where I was. One more. One more. Are you not? I'm hidden. Hmm. <gasps> Guys, there's a cone here. This. Oh shucks. Oh, I did find him. Shit. But I wasn't meant to find him. I couldn't help it. That road cone was so obvious. Hmm. <laughs> Give me one of these buildings. He's like a mile away just looking at me. Time and practice. Thanks for playing with me. Nice. I had a lot of fun. Maybe tonight at the event we can play together again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It's a surprise, but Chief Body told me there might be a big cake. I haven't had a cake since the last time my mom remembered my birthday, which was. Well, anyway. Oh, no. Oh. Now I feel really sad. Aww. Aww. Fountain. <gasps> Why wow, so many people? Okay, let's go from like left to right. Please don't click and drag on the grass. <sighs> I need you now. Doesn't do anything. Shit. I've been duped. I've been chibated. If I do this a lot, it'll like tear off. That's nah, probably just like breaking fourth wall. Hmm. That cloud looks like a duck. Now that cloud looks like two ducks. 
A cloud looks like my ex-girlfriend. Who's a duck? Oh, Sheila. 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 <laughs> Tim Lizzie. Um, hello? Do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? You're blocking the sun. That luminous scales highlighter I applied is not living up to its customer review section. I've been out here all day with my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I can't seem to look effortlessly enough. This one here, I totally have no have an expression which is super no-no in the selfie town. I need to look just the right amount of disaffected with just the right amount of lip gloss. But th this gloss won't pay for itself after all. You know, because I pay for it. Me. Like, I buy it. Boom. I'm Lizzie. I've been trying to get everyone to start calling me Elizabethery. <laughs> Elizabethery. Tin Lizzie. Sadly, much like my attempts to be an influencer, it doesn't seem to be happening. Speaking of, I'm promoting Fizzy Fruit Le Croc this week on my social medias. Would you like to try some? It's soda water that Fruit Farmer thought about in passing, giving it just enough fruity essence to confuse the palate. So it's like Le Croix? Fizzy Fruit Le Croc. Oh, I guess that's what it meant to be. Le, le, cru, le Croc. A consideration of strawberry. Yeah. I haven't personally had Le Croix. But everyone says it's just water that is imagining taste. Pat? You mean Joanne's cousin Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious! Last year, when I spent the holidays with jo Joanne's family, Pat got so punked on it. He <laughs> so punked. He thought the Christmas tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into the Santa Fe nutcracker display to escape. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears. I had to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice, though. Love that bandana. I don't know. Are you here spying from Pat? Yes. He's not supposed to know anything about this, you feel me? I didn't even post it about it on Snootbook, or Pictogram, or my live journal, or my dead journal. I didn't even write it down on a bullet journal just to be extra safe. <laughs> Plus, then I save on bullets. Well, maybe if you could help me out, I could give you a little info, info about, you know, just a little... Oh no. Why? Why? You know, a little you stand my account and I stand yours? Mm, my brain. I know people who say that and it hurts a bit. Mm. See, even though I'm too, totally super tech savvy, super popular pictogram user with over seven followers, they aren't blood related to me. I am still having some trouble with my new phone. Sorry, I'm really bad at reading. I tried to import my photos and they all got dinked up and I can't post dinked photos. And what would my followers do if they denied the knowledge of their personal BFF Lizzie most recent vegan cafe exploits? Right, that's what. Hashtag give peas a chance. So will you help me fix my pics? Cool. It's gonna be like a picture puzzle. Assemble the pics to help get the clicks. Unmix the pics. The photos are desired section of these pieces. Oh, it is a picture puzzle. Nice. It sounds like good villain music. Like, <laughs> Yes, thank you. We totally should get a selfie for this moment. Hold on. I mean, I feel like this person would be a good valley girl voice, but I cannot do a valley girl voice. And attempting would just be painful. Hold on, let me get look out my stick and see if it's a Swar Swar Swarovski studded holster. I don't know what that is. Oh god, my eyes! Ugh! Oh. Ow, oh, this is strange. Oh shit. Nope. Hey, this isn't bad at all. Can you try a little harder, please? 
shit, my bad. Fuck! It like you click it and it goes into the next one. Ugh, terrible. Try again, ding dong. LOL. This is when me and Joni went to Nana Roo's trying to find a vintage bucket for an ill-advised photo shoot I wanted to do. Look how haunted this stuff is. You'd almost feel ghost hunting TV show losing their nogs. Their noggins. Oh no, this is harder. Trying to figure out the picture before the one. There we go. Okay. This is hurting my eyes looking at the moving things. Oh my god! That was House Halloween. We won the best couples costume. I'm allergic to peanuts, but don't worry. It wasn't a real, real butter. I bought my EpiPen though, you know, just in case. Also, is she like a couple with the like pinball champion? Stop uh, for that one. There we go. This one's probably. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's the one with the snoot after the flower. Boop. There we go. It's a weird, like, corridor bit after the curtain. There we go. Nice. Aw, this is me and Aiden on National Siblings Day. I didn't remember. I can remember this hangout sesh so clearly, probably because the smell is so tied to memory. <laughs> Uploading and post it. Thank you so much. I think people are really gonna like these ones, especially these cute candids of Joni. Nice. How come it's like when I take candidates of a significant gator, they cute and perfect? And when Joni takes one of me, they're like this. <laughs> it's cute though. Hashtag relatable relationship. Oh yeah, about the event. Well like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. I think he's going to be super surprised. But like, not as surprised as the time he opened the closet and the coat fell on him, causing him to projectile vomit several liters of cranberry sauce. Content warnings, bodily fluids, Thanksgiving. Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. You too. Uh, so we did everything here, I think. What's the time? Oh shit. Well, look, it's spinning on that croc. And that one's. Cr that one looks like it's crying. Aww. Hello. Uh, I was having an eat emergency. I was. I was having an eat emergency. But I got pulled in by. I, 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 I swear I've got like four voices. Shit. Uh. You swear I was having an eat emergency. Let's just give it this voice, even though it's a small kid. Got pulled in by a mandolin manny siren song as usual. I listened to him play. And when he tells me to stop sitting so close in rhyming couplets. Heh, what a guy. This boy. Put a coin into my hat. <laughs> the song plays is the song I play is sweet, and if you don't agree with that, I do not get receipts. 
money. Like what? Looks like it's going into the water. With this. Hey, don't look at me! Uh -huh. <gasps> look at that mustache! Hey, you kiddo! How you doing today? Me? Ain't they above the ground, right? Heh <laughs> two ton- Oh, it's two ton Tony! Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. Hi, deflection! I'm dead! <laughs> I don't know- I don't even know what I'm doing it. Some days, though, are better than others, and today is one of those better days. You see? This big guy right here. This sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of finest grill and technology man has ever known. I am going through a serious midlife crisis right now. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. But now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it. And cook with it. And hopefully stop it before rising flames consume us all. Hmm? My students call me Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. Tell you the truth though, you can call me whatever you want, as long as you don't call me, don't, don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I punish my internal organs with my intention meats and radioactive food colorings for several decades. My best years are behind me. Of course, of course I know Pat. That's one of my boys. A smaller one than the wears a hat. You tell it's cool because he wears a hat. He's a good kid, a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that that bun could have lose a little more time in the oven. <laughs> I convey affection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Hi, my father. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, my jaws hurt in doing this guy's voice. The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that. Unless you're talking about my wife stopping your yammering. Now there's an event I like to see. <laughs> I'm a misogynist asshole. Well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. Sorry. I take that back. I only know how to communicate in relationship through day to human that stems from sex and from... Perfect. Nice. You said it. Cool. Maybe I should start reading those square things with the paper. Books. <laughs> Anywho, you seem like a gay that knows their way around the grill. Let's say hypothetically that I need help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips are getting looser when I hear a fine sizzle of meat being cooked on a deadly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a hand, kiddo? Oh yeah. Save this grill master from different disasters. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Sure. Problems keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over the problem to see uh, for a problem for two seconds to fix it. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. Okay, so extinguish fires. Um, I don't know what that is. Is that like a fan for smoke? And that's probably lighting it. Oh shit, look at that. <laughs> it's got a TV and a bucket. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh shit. Uh oh, oh uh, uh uh Okay, cool. Um uh okay, uh yeah. I'm an engineer, don't worry, I solve problems. Uh I'm really good at this. What's this? Oh, I wasn't holding it close enough. Nice, let's fix that. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit, see if we can get really good cooking. Okay. TV. Live from the, the fun district. Sad.
So I'm walking in the way. Fuck. Oh. Uh, shit. Oh shit. Oh heck. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. What's going on? What's going on over here? I don't know what happened. There was something on the right, but I couldn't see what was happening. Uh, have a try. Oh, it adds more minutes, some more you fail. Okay. Wham, 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 wham. Found one. Bye. I need to check every so often because sometimes my mic sounds like shit. Sorry about that, I don't know when my mic stopped working, but I'm back and I might cut to this moment because my mic sounds terrible when it's doing that. But we're talking to this crocodile kid who likes soda a lot, and we couldn't do the game earlier about the, croc the uh, grill because I couldn't see what was going wrong, so I don't know if that was me being bad or something about the game, but I skipped it, so we're on to this now. Maybe if we figure out and mix this amazing soda together and make this amazing, really cool thing, I can help you with something. Hooked on tonics. Mix up the drinks and see what he thinks. Try to follow Giovanni's soda instructions. Move the cup to the right to see the recipes, then up to the fountains to add a flavor. When you're ready, click on Giovanni to see his taste test. You have my recipe card. Those are sodas I've already invented. But how can I make something totally new and different? I don't know. It just feels like a lot of pressure. I guess, um... Can I taste the sick lemon? I can't remember what it's like. Okay. Sick lemon. There you go. Aww. Bleh. That's, that's right. I remember sick lemon now. I hate the soda. It tastes like chemicals. I need to wash that taste in my mouth. Give me, uh, give me Dr. Soda. Hmm, yeah. That sweet sugary rush of Dr. Soda. Dr. Soda is the best, most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. It's my very favorite. Maybe I can make an inspiration from one of my old recipes. Can you look at my recipe card and see what, what me, a cool guy... Make me a cool guy juice. Uh, recipe is cool guy juice, cold cola plus fruit one. Okay. Uh, cold cola, it's just ice cubes, and a fruit one. Here you go. Inspiring flavor. I guess this is masterful. You're a genius. Past Giovanni. Let's use this cool guy juice as a base. But how do I make cool guy juice even better? That's the question. Oh no, I'm cracking on the pressure of my own success. Let's try mixing cool guy juice with the face smeller together. Maybe? Does that sound good? Okay, so cold cola, fruit one. And the. I've already forgot what you said. With the face smeller. Okay. So cold color, fruit one. Uh, cold color, fruit one. And face mouth is dentist with the Stussy as an S and not the lemon. Dent. Dentist. And not lemon. Ugh. It's okay, but I expect it to be better. 
take this and let me think. What's wrong with the soda mix? Maybe I'm just bad at mixing sodas. I guess it could be a weird flavor though. Does face smell have a bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? Combine two recipes again. This time, take out the flavor I didn't like. Okay. So, uh, cold cola, fruit one. Fruit one. Uh, and remove the sick lemon. That's perfect! You totally nailed it! In your honor, I'm gonna name this drink Future Heartburn. Thanks for your help. Nice. Wow, your soda mixing skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, oh jeez. I knew when I saw you, there was a sticky pimple teen inside you just waiting to be lured out by the perfect sugary concoction. I've been preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer. Killer awesome, I mean. Not like it would kill him. He does get started pretty easily, though. Sudden moves tend to make him dive in action style to play glass windows. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. Um, and yeah, this person. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's special is a 12 cc's of sliders. What's a cc? CC's of sliders, which comes with chips and saline. You can add a side salad if you meet your meet your deductible. If you're having a real eat emergency, close the game and go to your local urgent care or greasy hot joint. <laughs> hot dog joint. If you're looking for dessert, that's more sweet emergencies deal up on Fall Street Dog. If y'all excuse me, I'm having my own wheat emergency. As including intolerant and stress ate a bunch of burger buns in the break room meltdown. You know how it's working in the food service industry. <laughs> Uh, I think we're done here. Drag the cross. Drag the cross. Shit. Uh, let's just double check if there aren't any puzzle pieces. Near yeah, boy. Ooh, there we go. Bing. Oh, wait. You know, you know, I just love coming to the park. That was the voice of this guy. Hear the birds and the music and feel my own hot mouth mist reflected back at me as I stand too close to people. <sighs> He's basically just punch. <gasps> sneaky croc. They were keeping an eye on this person. Stop, stop looking. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go to a different place. Also, how's my mic how mic doing? Also, how's my mic? Okay, cool. Uh on Savory Park Town. Oi. If there's any puzzle pieces I can get here. Oh nice. I think there might be puzzle pieces in the like the quick screens. Oh no. Hey buddy, a good old guide here. I just wanted to warn you, the big seeds are so big that they're bound to be passed down that they're a little seedy. I'm talking seed, seedy tough guys, seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out into a napkin politely. So be careful. Don't be, don't go clicking around in the back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. The very adult bar. <gasps> TOS? A what? I say, you there, vagrant. Brother, I don't think they're vagrant. I think they've, they've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king? Ha, ah, you might be right, sister. You there, hobo king. Come here a moment. Honestly, brother. I don't know why this person's got more masculine voice. Honestly, brother. What, what are you even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing in this outside CD watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree, sister. 
but who know as well as I, I do that I had to find an unbiased bonehead for my for our beneficiary. So anyone in this estate at this state was out. Besides, you know how wary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk about? Shall we talk to the stranger without the briefcase then? Yes, yes. As as long as it's someone that gives me a dreadful horror of being known. Hmm? Brother, brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with this pinstripe style they've spent at least thirty or so years locked in a strange closet in the storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And their other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously, since I released the perfume this year. <laughs> Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's also the heir, since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene, you know, Prince. My mic broke again. Oh, shit. I don't know when it broke. It broke some time I couldn't recall. I was messing with this game. Yeah. These people want stuff distributed, so I gave them stuff. And it was a lot of messing around. And showing how fancy and insidious they are. This will look great placed delicately behind me for my upcoming photo on the cover of Vanity Fair, fashion magazine for mean lady alligators. I hope I don't have to cut too much of this vod because of my mic breaking. It really sucks. You got a family member badge. Oh, my throat. Oh, another one. Cool. That's all of Daddy's things. I'd be quite pleased with my all. And me as well. Why, I'm in such a good mood I could almost feel feelings again. Feelings, brother? How pedestrian. I- Oh, I keep forgetting the prince and princess is changing. I know. Please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat these days. I guess we should ask. We should thank you, Pinstripes, and tell you what you want to know about the event. But we won't. Your reward is, is our smiling snoots. Now get out of our car before we ring the police. <laughs> Unknown. Hello, hello, your pal city aficionado here. I just wanted to make sure you know about the cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. I know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. And you're right. The whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, Nana... A Nana. Nana Roo. There's a great local agent about the place. That it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. <gasps> oh no. That's a spoopy ghost. Boop, 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 boop. <gasps> the, the, the boy, the boy at the park who really wants to have a ghost friend. They should come here and then have a ghost friend. <gasps> What's really haunting though is the price is raffle. <laughs> ha. Just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Anyway, Nana Roo is much of a card shark as she is a deal shark. So be careful. She's actually a crocodile, not a shark. But if you have time, defo check up her colourful shop. It's tons of fun. Cool. Look at this cool can. Hey, you gotta like... No, not for my cigarette. I'm in the general. It's kinda dark here and I got a spooky ghost gather ghost allergy. You haven't seen any, right? I mean, I did. Just a picture of one. Hum... Hey, man. Got any change for novelty tie-dye apparel? It's Ryan. Well, Star Child, I can, like, feel your energy from here. I'd say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now. But truth is, I feel cycled some... Feel like... I, truth is, I feel free-cycled some 
really gnarly bagels for lunch today at a dumpster behind the furniture store. Oh, free cycled, like recycled. Okay, cool. I'm just confused what that sentence was. Mamello has been thoroughly pre harshed. <laughs> Why would there have been bagels in the dumpster of the furniture store? Oh, fro pillows. Bummer. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket, felt it equally from strangers' lint and candy wrappers? Well, I can I can mood that. It's no wonder I got in the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. Who? Hi, Maiden. It's totally chill and beat you. Dot com. Dot org. I saw I knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant. According to some sub forums I visit online. Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. Their potent energy cast through me to my inner core. Which is great, since I spent the last of my dash on some suspiciously expensive crystals, and my inner core is super starving, man. Jesus, Pat, he's a pretty cool guy. Kind of dresses like a preschooler, though, if I'm being realsies. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you could say we're kind of like family. You can say anything, strangers, really. No one can stop you. Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. I just noticed he's got crystals and a little mat there and some incense. He's a cleric. I actually could, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. You see those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Well, those little mamas were also suspiciously powerful. You mean those crystals you can get in the little, like, claw machine in the arcade? From just three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up to do a pee, I feel mystically charged enough to access my most innermost self. But my tireless question through the crystal's concentration arts, I just don't have time to shower or dust my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is way more of it's, it's, is, a, is a way for the man to keep us down. You should be sliding across the floor in an oil slick of your own creation. Like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. But, but the invited others. I'm talking about flies. These little buzzing buzz kills keep hushing my mellow. They make it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light and do my do do it inner right, if you know what I mean. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be happy to do a solid for you in return. So. Will he be my spada swatter? Swatter? Swatter fly from an icky guy. Meditation infestation. Click on flies and hornets, holy shit. And attack them with fly flutters. Swans take extra hits. Careful, don't swap butterflies or aid them. Alright, see Dad, I do have friends. Dude, this is like TR aim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that cartoon sound effect. This is good. Who? Why play Osu when you can do this to practice your sniper aim in TF2? Your ambi aim. It's happening. The sub farmers are right. I have to keep going. Feel cosmos and pick up Wi Fi. Keep going, I'm almost there. Oh, oh shit, I hit the butterfly. No, fuck. There's so many bugs. That's so hard. Holy shit. There's so many of them. Shit, I'll pass. Literally a monument to his own hubris. Aiden sits before he was still as a statue. Because he is of one of those, apparently. 
you reflect on how the crystals are nothing to be tried for with as well as how they're really cool. You inspect Aiden's soapstone exterior and note that his still lingering smell of body, body couch cushions and patchouli. Uh, perhaps he's still in there after all. Feels bad, he's fucking dead, man. This guy got tallied, he got turned to stone. How are these guys? Hey, what are you looking at? Slasher and nice Eric. Are you trying to listen for our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? Beat it, creep. Okay, sure. Let's go in this very adult bar. Oh, fellow pinstripe. Bobby Blue Eyes. Why are you staring at chump? Put those papers away before I yank them out your skull. Well, you think you're a tough guy or something? You think you can roll in here in a pinstripe suit not dissimilar to my own and share a passing glance with me? Well, you've got nothing coming you onto your pelly. It ain't nothing good. Around these parts, I'm the toughest guy you're gonna meet. So don't you think you can sidle into my bar and lock eyes casually with me across the room? You'll be sorry when I pull those babies out, out and make them into twin... No, 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 cheese? I don't know what that is. I'll let you guess what the red sauce is, but you ain't gonna like it. Who are you? Name's Bobby Blue Eyes. And don't you forget it, because it's gonna be etched into your tombstone. Wait, on your tombstone? Would be your name. My name would be... Bobby Blue... Hey! Just because I got confused about a society's ritual surrounding mortality doesn't mean you can look at me oh, look at me look at me that way. We're having a conversation here. Pat, that little jabroni is my first cousin, once removed. Kind of like how I'm about to remove your eyes, as I mentioned previously in the conversation. This guy's like the soldier. <laughs> Do you think the red sauce thing was too far? Maybe it was a bit too far. I'm testing out some new tough guy material. My father's a bit hit or miss. Bobby ain't spilling family secrets. Sure. Unless... Question mark. You prove you're tough to me. The toughest guy in Allegheny, New York City. It ain't gonna be easy, though. I'll make sure of that. I'll make sure of that. So let's you, let's you and me play a little game called Three Finger Fillet. Oh no, it's gonna be one of these games with a knife, right? Or are you too chicken? I'm not a chicken, I'm an alligator. Carefully watch how Bobby stabs the table. Copy his pattern on your side. Be careful to avoid your fingies. You ready for this tough guy? Oh no. Our hands are about to touch. Yeah. This is a spoon. Well, you did that four times? It's impressive. How many more times do you think you can pull that off? Like, there's no time limit. Like my brother playing Guitar Hero on Expert, and I'm playing on Easy, and it's just like slow ride. To get... I already forgot the pattern. Shit. Is this one? Nice. Well, five times, not bad. Let's any up a bit, shall we? Uh, uh. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> what is that? That knife is terif uh, terrific. Yeah, perfect for a tough guy. Uh, let's let's keep going, <laughs> dude. What the fuck? I just pulled out a fucking like knife. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of scared. Uh, you call it a knife? This is a knife. I'm kind of scared of what happens if I actually hit my hand. Oh, 
Hey, not bad, kid. Got away the six. I bet you think you're a real tough guy with those incre increasingly ludicrous knives you weirdly have in your person. But check this out. Oh, shit. My memory is failing right now. Ow. Use hand. Oh, no. Owie, my fingy. Can you put a bandaid on it, please? Okay. Ready. Oh, look at it. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Carbony, carbony. That's it. I don't want to play tough guys anymore. No more. You, you ruined it by going too far, and now you look what happened. I may never play bass guitar again. Aww, I feel bad. Uh, how's my mic? Uh, how's my mic? Okay, cool. Just checking. Aww. You're a real tough customer, I'll give you that. You've been this happy thing, so leave those preposterous knives at home. I'll go, leave me and my band-aid and my misery. Oh, ouchie. Mm -hmm. Hi! I'm waiting for a blind date, so if you don't see, if you see anyone who looks like Gandalf the Bay, let me know. The knife. Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, you do want it? It was the bar special of the night. But I ain't got the heart to eat it now because of nervous guts. Anyway, what do you want? I don't really have the time to talk right now. I'm waiting for somebody. Though there may be a no-show. Are they Gandalf? People call me the knife on account of my design containing their sharp edges. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like that. <laughs> and how I poked my eye with a free jack o lantern carving accident in 4th grade. And cause I'll cut you. Out of extracurriculars, if I catch you in the hall without a pass, I'm a guidance counsellor for Miss P P Pettisnoots, Pettisnoots School of, S of the Snobby and Gifted Middle Schoolers. The nickname's just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, you are, right. Right. Sorry, I'm a little bit socially anxious right now. And basically all the time. I've known Pat since high school, when the seniors got paired up with the freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As a gym teacher tried to rope down our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. Side ran like a maniac down a football field with my gym pants still attached to him. That's how I got the other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Love that weird little guy. Look, you keep pestering me. Did I tell you I was waiting for someone? <sighs> I gotta be honest with you. I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare the other gators off. How was I supposed to know that complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? I'm glad he said neck veins, holy shit, okay. She looked real cool. Uh, but anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't, I don't get out much. It's hard to just meet people. <laughs> meet. In a non-weird way, you know. I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready for when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you on one of these weirdly wild goose-like chases, but I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So, um, maybe if you help me with my practice, I could help you too. What do you say? You want to go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? Heck yeah. Make him blushy by getting mushy. Make him okay. Mac that. Wait. Mac that knife? Okay. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. 
click to decide where to go, what to do, and what how you end the evening. <laughs> Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace. You can help me out there. What do you mean, the school? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> it's a daily game! <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, look at that weirdly anime face of the fucking snoot. Oh, look at those eyes, look at that anime eye. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing, I love this game. Welcome to the hallowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. The kids are on break right now, and it's only us lonely administrators. Me. I'm the only one. I need a big favour from you. <laughs> the faces. You see, I have to. I have a. I have a meet cute tomorrow. A meet cute, and I don't know what to do or say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. I'm not usually a blind date type, but she says she's really dreamy. Plus, I'm always already half blind. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Broad shoulders, says so she's, says says he's a cool, quiet type, but has a sense of humour and a big heart. Cool, cool. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the dojima. If you get my drift, I don't know what a dojima is. I wonder what she told him about me. Ugh, it's always a negative thing in the mess of a mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type, and you're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. <laughs> Please, you gotta help me practice on a big date. <laughs> I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yeah. I mean, um, cool. Thanks. Carried arranged it all with my date. We go on an adventure first, then after dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> Natural laughter. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what kind of adventure will you take me on? Impress me. A fun day at the zoo. A trip to the beach. A nice stroll at the botanical garden. Um, let's go a trip to the, to the beach. Great, let's go. Well, come on. I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we go somewhere. Our school is empty, don't worry. <laughs> oh my god. The backgrounds are perfect. 10 out of 10, whoever did those backgrounds. Hey, the beach is a pretty nice, pretty nice this time of year. That's a sweet idea. I know it's really not a beach. I play and pretend, remember? But it's only our first date. I didn't bring a towel or swim trunks or sunscreen. Plus, we're going to dinner later. Am I going to be all sandy at the restaurant? Are you okay walking along the boardwalk? Well, that's nice. Our mystery date probably looks great in swim trunks, though. It's, it's fine, actually. I'm great. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with with an itinerary. Every I date these guys just watch a, t watch a TV show in an old couch. Don't get me wrong. Well, I'm, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy. But I think the first date should be something special, you know. Hmm. What's this? You bought me a present, but but I I didn't bring you anything. Oh, this is a change of pace, old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. Nice flowers, yummy candy, a cute toy. Uh, here are flowers. Oh, they're lovely. Thank you. <laughs> this is odd that I gave him this voice because he's called the knife. <laughs> but it's perfect. Karen, Karen didn't warn me I was going on, <laughs> going out of a chew, gentlemen. Oh shit! Is he gonna? Oh no! I see where this is going. Shit! I'm getting a little hungry. Do you mind if we head to dinner? A reservation? Wow, he came prepared. And dressed to impress, I see. A shirt really brings out your eyes. Is that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So when you want to eat, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard you were quite like, the foodie. Somewhere fancy, somewhere cozy, somewhere cool. I think you're somewhere fancy. Che, che, zu, che, 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 snoots, I think. Is that how you say it? A fancy seatery at the gate of Brooklyn. I heard, you, I heard you need to call miles ahead to get a table there. Oh gosh, I'm super underdressed for that place. Do you think the, the maitre d' is going to judge me? There's no way I can afford dinner there. Not on public servant salary. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? I just... 
I just know some nosy Nancy is going to get me kicked out for looking like a, like a poverty. <laughs> oh no. I appreciate the jest there, but I feel guilty and self-conscious. <laughs> God. Every time I look at him, I notice different details, like the fucking anime hair. Uh, this is more like it. So you come here often? It's so alright. I barely make it out of the house myself these days. I'm so happy to be here, meeting someone new. Psst, now's a chance. Give me a compliment. Your scales are so shiny. Your tail is so long. You have such perfect teeth. Here is shiny scales. I'm so happy you noticed. I'll be, it's been long since I went out of date and Karen took me out and to, to get them so, and polished. I'm not into being pampered usually, but I'm so glad I did. I could definitely get used to all the attention, especially from you. You know, your scales are beautiful shine too. You must spend hours maintaining them. Yeah, you do like that. You spend time at the gym. Stop me if I'm being too forward, but I thought I could really beat myself around you. It's been a while since I've done... Dude, I just disassociated right now, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> God. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me get back. Um, okay. Fuck, I can be really beat myself around you. It's been a while since, since, since I've done this. Since, since, okay. I mean, not a long while. It's just hard for me to meet uh, other alligators. I don't do, I don't do this very often. It's not often. This is precisely what I want in practice. What I'm trying to say is, I'm in a really good time for you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the Spring Festival with me? You've lived in Alligator in New York City for how long? And you've never been at East River Spring Festival? And you've got to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and a whole thing that ends with a big fireworks show. Well, I say we split the check and head over. For... Find down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. Sorry I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in, Alli in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive. <laughs> like, everything is just like an American place, but about like, there at the start. My family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no. I've been coming here since I was little. I just noticed is that his shirt or is that just his like outline by his like collarbone? I can't tell. Is it first time? What looks fun to you? Culture activity, carnival game, let's eat festival food. Culture activity. So that's what you need to, huh? Cool. It looks like there's some weird arts and crafts over here. Should we have should we make a sand painting together? Or ooh, a dip dying looks fun. And then I'll s s have a souvenir to keep from our first date. <laughs> God, the fucking the chain this is so ugh. Okay, what a night. That guy, that guy in the bear costume and all the... That reminds me, I still have Dream Daddy and I've never played it. I need, I need to do that, 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 do that at some point. But... And all the pretty lights. You know, for the first time, huh, you really seem to be warming up to the festival. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I... I really wanted to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I wasn't even going to come out tonight. A lot of people are scared of me, you know. Would you believe me? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever repeatedly ch Oh no, it's zooming in, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm kind of scared right now. Don't doki doki me, game, please. I am very squishy. I'll slowly build you my reputation, is it? Is it still zooming in? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared right now. <laughs> I'll slowly build him a reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything relentlessly punishing or who stand in the way of my personal goals. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh god, I, uh, my fucking heart. I, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. Uh. uh okay. Um. What did I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I had fun tonight. I hope you did too. For Karen's sake, I mean, she takes matchmaking really seriously and she's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Uh, what am I talking about Karen right now? Come on, let's just say the right thing. I guess what I'm trying to say here is I'm so glad I met you. 
but he seemed like a great person, and it was cool hanging out. We should do this again sometime. Wait, what? How do I do it? Wait, what? How do I... Huh? How did I do this wrong? You liked it. What? I don't get it. Hey, you tried. I'm going to fault you for that. I'm just destined to be alone. Oh, I need, I need to do this again at some point. I just want to go through all the games first. I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong. Actually, can I talk to the big guy in there, or is he just in, a like in the way? Oh, I can talk to him. <laughs> Look at this guy, tall Jared. He's literally a triangle. <clears throat> oh hey, didn't see you down there. Can you move about two centimeters to the right? The placement of my eyes is particularly wacky. I'm waiting for a call, but my phone has been pretty dinged up lately. Oh, it's because there's a DDR machine in the background. That's why there's like... Fucking like, rave music. I wonder if you'll even come in. Maybe I should ask the bartender to use the, the phone here. Uh, it's not going to work. It's a stored number I need here. My broken phone. How did anyone even get by before modern cell phone technology? How they send each other messages or watch videos about drinking a gallon of milk and then throwing up? I guess I'll just have to write letters now and, fi and film myself barfing on VHS. Just like the pilgrims will. <laughs> Whom? Folks call me Tall Jared. I don't really get it though. Honestly, I'm not even the tallest Jared I personally know. Same. Yeah, then let the info sink in for a while. You can see your imagination run wild to these extremely visible eyes. Yeah, people call me tall, and I'm like, I have encountered like 10 people that are taller than me I can think of. Pet the alligator. That's my little cousin. All my cousins are little to me, even the older ones. Pet, however, is particularly small. Yeah, that's why he's so skittish. Guy in a tie. That tiny could slip into a crack any time and get lost in a medium-sized mouse hole. Like a borrower or something. Oh, you're going to that too? I'll tell you more about it, but... The sad truth is I jotted all down the deets on my phone here. But the dang thing has been on the fritz for about a week now. Ever since I got back from that ghastly mansion of the rich and the dead tour I did on my vacation, What's really ghastly is the distribution of wealth among the populace <laughs> and the dedulous. <sighs> I don't know why I'm going to. A phone is my life, literally. I don't have a rich inner existence or anything. It's mostly all saved there on one of the form of my dream journals and my picture of good breakfast I've had. I know how much of a tech person you are, but could you take a look? Could you take a look? Okay. Uh. His phone's on the fritz. It's it's super it's super the pits. Ghost in the cell. I feel like I've made a song that sounds like this. <laughs> it's super like I don't know how to describe it. It's like super like uh two thousands like dance music. Maybe later than 2000s. Definitely like on like those weeb games. Like I was, <laughs> uh, some or like Nightcore shit. There's something fishy about Tall Jared's flip phone. Investigate his apps and files to find the source of mysterious malfunctions. I went on the Fritz a couple of weeks ago. Wait, so when is this... I know this is alternate universe, because alligator in New York City, as opposed to human New York City. Yes, we call it human New York City, we're very weird. Um, but they said before in this game that it's about 2000s, and they're talking about, like, the equivalent of, like, Instagram and whatever, but everyone's still using, like, a flip phone. And it's like, what? I, 
I don't know anyone who still uses a flip phone. I went on the Fritz. I went on the Fritz a couple of weeks ago when I was on vacation. Can you fix whatever's wrong? My phone's a lifeline to everything else. Sometimes tall Jared is too tall to hear the voices down there. Noties. Oh well, just to warn you, some of my notes are pretty personal. Game ideas. I'm not working on a video game, I just thought these would be some cool ideas for some. A spooky game about three kids in a bad summer camp. A cute game about a sweet knight who gets to escort four hot princesses down a mountain. A silly mystery game about alligators in the city. Too much work. <laughs> a dramatic game about mecha pilots fighting over the fate of humanity and kissing. <gasps> Groceries. It's too late to check if there's embarrassing stuff in my notes. I don't know why I'm checking through this guy's notes like some kind of psychopath. But I need the funny day, funny like writing. Three muffins, three kinds of muffins, and a good breakfast. Uh, crisp rices, large ham, muffins, blueberry, brownberry, bug, bug acai, acai. I don't know how to say that. Paper towels, cleaning spray, <laughs> dirty spray. Good breakfast. Sandwich bread, peb nut butter, bubba, small ham. Tall Jared, you're getting greedy. Greedy for breakfast. Dream Journal. Huh. I don't remember dreaming about being hungry. Did I write that? I was in the woods and I was running on all fours and there was a monster chasing me. I'm at school and everyone is making fun of me because I got I forgot all math. Same. I'm I'm hungry. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and except my father is looking back at me. He turns into sand. Now I am holding two hams. I have fish hands, and it's the best dream ever. <laughs> New note. Error code. See, I told you my phone was acting up. Error code 09590AGH057. Unable to add new notes. Please contact customer support. Um, video time. When I get really stressed, I watch soothing videos, it calms me. I started watching one on my phone and started acting weird. Do you think it's related? Video time. Bubble wrap. Alligator sent streamer in response. I wanna watch it again. Subscribed. Hi, well, thanks for watching my channel. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I just really... something. <laughs> Win train. This is the first train schedule app I've tried, but I'm still late all the time. Train you soon. Okay, pictures. You're going to look through my photos? Sh should I? Okay, no, I'm sure there's nothing too embarrassing in there. Main. <gasps> it's the cool person with pinball. Oh, that's my little little sip, Joni. I caught them on candid camera. Breakfast, a croissant. Aww. Did you look at that handsome fella? I give myself compliments every day. It's like the workout for your self-esteem. Dude, I could delete. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's, that's dick move. Vacation. I'm a pretty good photographer, right? Everyone says the newer phones with better cameras, but I think mine's good already. Dude, I got a new phone with a camera, and it's fucking cool! Yeah, it's like HDR, it looks sick. Vacation. My oh, vacation pics. Hope you already relive some memories of me. Look like at Triangle Boy. Hey, my phone started to up, we went to this weird house. It's my trip to Alligator, Los Angeles. It's neat being so close to the mountains. Do you think this house had something to do with my phone being weird? Spoop. Saved images. <laughs> Is that a JoJo reference? I hope so. Please don't uh, mess with this folder. I just have a lot of pics here that I'd really hate to lose. Oh no. <gasps> Wait, what's that? Oh, I recognize this. Um. Is this, um... Oh, wait. I know this, fuck. 
Is this Cowboy Bebop? I think I think it's Cowboy Bebop. I don't know. I think I saw like one episode. That's Goku. I don't know what this is. Uh oh, this listen, it's not what it looks like. It's the camaraderie is important to me. Oh, is this that like swimmer anime I've seen? I haven't seen it, I've just seen clips of it. I don't know what this is. Okay. Screenshots. Oh, this code does mean so does code does something cool. Do you have a way to scan it? Oh no. I feel I I don't have a QR code thing, but I guess I'll check that later. Or oh, you can check it now. Looks into camera. <laughs> I don't have a camera. Okay. Cool. Internet Spawnka a la Google. Do me a favor and don't look too hard at my search history. Recent searches, breakfast near me, breakfast mini pancakes, sleep sounds, what's the best password, joke of the day. <laughs> hey, I wonder if I can... Oh, I'll see if I can, like, type into this. Ashley. Why would you all do that? I searched for the best password just a few days ago. I should have written it down. What's it like out? People like sunny days, and some people like rain days. Like the forecast is just like this. Pretty good. Pretty good. Today, sunny. Next day, 81. Day after, 80. Fun. After that, 80. None. It's pretty good out. Settings. Un un unlock to enable ghost mode. The screen. The screen isn't helpful at all. What do you think ghost mode is? Calls. Hey, don't look at my calls. And don't try to call anyone either. I'm sort of really out of minutes. I only have 22 seconds left. And I still need to, you have to call my grandma. Okay. Truth is, I don't remember any passwords ever. He probably wrote them down then. On his noties, maybe. Maybe it's good breakfast. Is it weird? I don't remember writing good breakfast. What is it? What breakfast do I want? I'm hungry. Hmm. Maybe it's good breakfast. I don't know. That couldn't be, because that looks like it might just be numbers. Oh, it actually says here, allig alligator cell phone 20x. Maybe there's like other things sketched down. I think it's the error code. Oh, well, I'm actually. Let me type numbers. Oh, it's actually letters. That's not it. Okay, well, let me type numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Who would it be then? Hmm. No tease. Not hungry. I don't know what about being hungry. It's a little weird. I mean, I do get hungry, but usually not spaced out in that manner. <laughs> oh, maybe the ghost is haunting the phone, and that's why it's hungry. Good breakfast. Hmm. I am confused. Oh, you can't actually click on it. Okay. Ghost. Okay. Ghost? I didn't know you could click on it. Now, what the fault of it? I'm going to figure out about it immediately. Password. You got it. 
I wish I could remember my password. Ghost mode activated. Wherever it is, it sure is the best one. Ghost mode activated. Oh, there's some cool game ideas. There should be a gamesman. Just checking to see if you can interact with these. Hmm. What am I doing here? What does that mean? Yeah. Ghost mode. Oh. It's a winner. You're a winner. There's something weird about this photo. <gasps> There's a spoopy ghost here, guys! It's a spoopy ghost! ghost. There's something weird about this photo. Weird hell, sir. It's really spooky inside. I know what I found here. Yeah, two bars. Oh no. It's like slowly creeping in. Delete it. <gasps> oh no, Monka. <laughs> what was that? Did, did you just do that with my phone? Oh shit, I got spooked. Uh. Uh, let's see. Double check. Oh, there's a ghost there. Oh, oh, <laughs> you saw that, right? That was definitely strange. Oh god, I didn't know this is a horror game, Monka. Oh fuck. Please don't delete that one. Let me just double check all these. Okay. Oh god. Where'd my handsome swimming boys go? No, this is a nightmare. Get rid of it. Oh fuck. Oh god. Next time I go on vacation, there'll be something safe like carting or on new beach. And my creepy old mansions with dark legacies contaminated by the vengeful souls that I reside within, I swear! <sighs> that actually spooked me in real life. <sighs> Don't do this to me, game. I want to play a game of cute crocodiles. I thought I'd just death move, just move two bubbles of life to Abacus and all that. That was super terrifying. Can I have my phone back? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Hey, it looks like you fixed it. It's nice to have a functioning phone again. It's like I'm reconnected to society. Take that. Actually looking people in the eye and talking to them directly. I know, right? I know. Thanks, random stranger. Or shall I say, random friend? Random breakfast. <laughs> Yay, oh jeez. So the call I'm waiting on is actually the caterer for the event. And that's a lot of work since this family is practically made of food allergies and intolerances. But I'll manage. I guess I'll thank you for your help. I'll see you tonight. By the way, can you vamp weep? 
Pat. Hey, it's me again, Pat. It's almost four, and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes and the wearing of them therein? A couple things. Perfect! Could you come meet me in the hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters or college age canvases in cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside of 4th Street. Oh no. It's that guy. I turned him into a statue. No. I'm on my way. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. No. Shit. What's this guy? Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? I don't know how to say that. Gas, Gacon, Gasson, fetch us your finest novelty wine based popular sci fi te television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Why, well, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation, Devilus, Great Wizard of the North. My brother Mickey helped me put toge it together, though he did get a bit slimy. Who? Hmm? I'm Derry, known as the Terror of the East Side in those magics, the, the happening card game circles. On campus, I'm known as the terror of the AP Biolab, or the one that had that haircut. Puzzle piece, oh jeez. Thanks. Pat. Pat is my second cousin, as well as my favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Dungeons and Dragons is a fucking good game. The first being my internet friend Carl, whose, got, whose dad got rich Bitcoin money mining. Pets are bars, so you know, pretty buddy. <laughs> Fuck you, bars are great. Shut the fuck up. Although I'm a cleric, so I know I'm already good. Great singing voice, though. You can really wail on that juice harp. Yeah, it's a party. What? Am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to say that? I'm pretty sure it's a surprise birthday party. Oh, jeez. Huh. You're leaving already? Oh, safe travels, fellow traveler, traveler of the mortal plane. Perhaps we will meet again in another realm or on an internet forum for role-playing. <laughs> this guy's pose. That's this guy over here again. Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to, to his hotel room upon arrival. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. But not to say the second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me and I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. I like how he just regularly doesn't wear pants, so just in case he is wearing pants, he's like, Oh shit, I should take off my pants. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to click and drag along the hallway, we should move along shortly. <laughs> nice game of others. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had biohazardous incident. Again. Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day. Sure. Welcome back. I'd just be trying on some... Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. So have you talked more about the family? Found out any secret plans? I had to like fake gulp there. <laughs> you think they're throwing me up? No, no, you're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a bit far fetched, don't you think? You can't pull one of those old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like once a year. No, wait, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more a few more people, you can find something you can really use. 
In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I need your help. You see, I'm having a problem. A shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them, but I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd better look hot-footing my way around the event of safety if I need to. The issue isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawers where I actually keep all my things. Last week, my nana wrote gifted an antique armoire of her shop as an early birthday present. It's big, spacious, spectacle, and super haunted, and that's leaving a weird stain in the in pr the pr the par park par 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 parquet flooring just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Peruse for shoes. <laughs> Soul searching. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on the suspicious drawers. Mic check. Nice. Be careful. If Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. <laughs> After each round, the contents of drawers will shuffle around. Spook. Okay, I, I didn't actually understand any of that. Uh, blah, blah. Click on click on the drawers. Be, uh, he'll give up. Uh, for each. Okay. Cool. Help me find my shoes, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Why has this game got so many spooks in it? This, this, I, I'm glad there's an anxiety meter. I want one of these in real life. <gasps> shoes. I like how they got little toesies outlined. Hey, your shoe. Let's find the other. <gasps> Yoink. Hey, your shoe, let's find the other. Hey, your shoe, let's find the other. Nice. So this is just like chance, right? Oh, fuck. Nice stock sound there, mate. Uh, I have to remember ones I've already opened. Oh no! <laughs> Shit, I've already clicked on that one. Oh, that's one. And then it's this one, right? Yes. Quick, we made a pair. Monk. Uh. Gosh. Holy. I'm glad I haven't got a face cam because you would see my face contorting every time I open one of these. Ugh, gross stuff. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I like his face when he's here. Actually, that's not that bad. That's bugs. We like bugs as gators. See, that's the one I'm scared of the most. The fucking Jabate one. I keep clicking on that one. Fuck, it's always that one. Okay, so that's that one. <gasps> no, that's the worst! Wait, I don't... Which one have I not clicked? Is this one? Oh, no. Shit. Yeah, I, I, I already lost. I have to retry. This is important. This is like memory and RNG. Two things I am unlucky about. Okay. Two shoes up here. Come on, Ogre Magi, give me your skill. Okay. It was like one of these up here. Is it this one? Yes! Oh. 
Ah, uh, fuck you, game. That one isn't as bad. Neither is that. That's kind of cute. Hmm. Oh, shoot. These empty ones are actually making me like, okay, is it going to be a bait? Is it going to be a bait? Wink. Brown shoe. I don't know which one I haven't clicked yet. I think it, maybe this one maybe? I think that's the black one. Oh, wait. Brown shoe. Was brown shoe up here? There. That's brown shoe. There we go. Cool. I want that red shoe. It looks cute. Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Cool. Thanks, Hammock. If I say that's cool, it makes me think of fucking Hot Diggity Demon. That oh, shit. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to skip through this, like, when I edit the VOD. Oh. <gasps> Richie, what was the other Richie? What's up here? No, shit. It was up here. And then it was like... Here, right? Yes! Got him. My shoes! Yeah! I only took extra time. I can't believe it! You found all three pairs of shoes that I own! Every shoe is presented here. Brown, sneaky, and tropical. You know... Looking at them now, it's kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. Uh, sorry, I just get so nervous. I'm just not thinking straight. I'm sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate what you did. You found a puzzle piece. Oh, jeez. I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'm getting all mushy. Get back there and dig up more dirt. And I'll text you just, just like just before. The event. <laughs> See you later. Investigate. <gasps> I'm an investigator. I just got that joke now. Thank God. Thank you for that. I don't mind dying alone. It's serene. Sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. Uh, what's the time? 4.45. Okay. How about you? Oi. It's too hard to get all the way back up here if you fall. No way elevator, you know. Just gotta use elbow grease, which I have yet to speak to my doctor about. Um, let's go back to the tram. Can we go downtown? Oh, look at these boys. And maybe girls. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I knew it. They were this is doing that. Hello. Hey. <clears throat> oh, hello! Oh, with the downtown quartet, and we'll make you, s we'll sing you a song I can't read very well. It's not very short, it's very short, not a very short one, but it's also a long. <laughs> Fuck. I'll we'll sing it in the morning, and we'll sing it past noon. We'll have a lot of noise complaints, but they'll be gone soon. Hit the solo, Maurice! To a jail! <laughs> Denise! Lewis! P 
Patrice, Maurice, Pat. We're a pet's aunt, aunt and uncles. He's our darling nephew, all except for Lewis, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Lewis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. Just a guy they know that takes part in the show. Oh, oh. Whoa, dude, pull it back. That's all right. Can't tell you how much. How, oh shit! Everything's a song. It just it ends with a note in my like, oh fuck. Okay. Uh, I can't can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. There we go. If you can't help us with our act, we'll tell you what you heard. I keep misreading everything. Sorry. Give them a solo without triggering, and oh no, barber shop upset. Sure. I'm going to be terrible at this. Help the alligator quartet hit their solos. When their scrolling bar shows a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. <gasps> it's going to be a rhythm game. I have no sense of rhythm. Uh, it took me like a month to complete Rhythm Paradise. Uh, let's first warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Shine the spotlight on the singer with the matching background. With when the groovy disco pattern, the disco pattern, appears, shine a spotlight on the disco ball and we'll sing together. Ready, gentlemen? Ready, Maestro. Okay. Oh, okay. Background. Wait, whose background's who? Oh, this is the disco ball. <laughs> I'm terrible at that, sorry. I thought that was a practice! I thought I said it was a practice. What the fuck? But they had fun recording this shit. Oh shit. Sorry. Oh, now you're confused. Sorry. I need to go do these games again at some point, because I am terrible at minigames. Wop 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 wop. Who this? The breeze. The practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be an alive alligator. The antique shop. Nana rules. Oh no. Spooky music. Is that a Zoro character here? Those big dilated eyes and teeth. Teeth. Let me click on you. Eh, eh, fuck. This is gonna have a lot of jigsaw puzzle pieces, right? Yeah, one. Two. I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of the magic of the shop. At least that's what I tell my ex-wife, so I can come see her all day. I've got a good butt groove going on the shelf. 
Welcome to Na Nana Rules, where after ooze on your shoes, it's just cause of the booze. Mic check. Cool. Uh, it's haunted, as all I can get, get, as all get out in here, sweetheart. So mind the ectoplasm. <laughs> so you're interested in buying some antiques from the Ted from me today, Dollface? We just got in a huge shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on, as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the seventies with realistic plastic faces. Fuck. Can I get you a real deal of one of the those those that's in your fancy? In is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir. I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Hmm? Well, sugar pie, as as the sign may have alerted you, I am one and only Nana Rue herself. This voice keeps changing constantly, purveyor of one of the finest antique goods and finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers! My sweet, sweet Patrick, he's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop, squealing about ghosts and trying to eat his kidneys and hide... Wait, ghosts trying to... Oh, okay, I thought he was eating his own kidneys. Trying to eat his kidneys and hiding humorously oversized faces. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. You! Hey, you! Be careful with that face! It's expensive! Oh, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to go over on time tonight. Gotta stray all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig. You know, these things don't tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be there with you in a minute. Sorry, Pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless you defeat me around that a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can can out an old the the old wait out can out old the old maid? Fuck. I'll play. Sure, another mini game to lose. On your turn, click. Click to take one of Nanaru's cards, then she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The player left holding the old maid loses. Okay. Oh yeah, jeez. Yeah, yeah. House rules, the younger player goes first. Are you there, doll? You spaced out for a second. I was just looking at the instructions. Nice. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes, are you? You seem nervous. Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. I've got customers, sweetie. Take a card. Sure. Oh. So long, old maid. <laughs> you seem nervous. <laughs> Yoinked. Well, now you get a chance to take her back. I've got customers, sweetie. Take a card. Oh shit! Looks like the old maid's getting rid of the old maid! What's that sense of dread? Is it old age or the old maid? Can I like shuffle my cards? I'll get you next time, youth! I've got a good feeling about this pick! That's a pair for me! I look who's got the lucky fingers today. Shit. Well, I'll pass that. I need to complete these mini games at some point. But I feel like this game has got a time limit, and if I spend too much time completing the games, I will miss the event. <laughs> hey, City Bell. I was just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch, um. Have you heard of the 9th Street Station at all? I haven't. 
I, I didn't think so. It's, uh, well, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on there since then. Mic check! There's not a lot going on. Nice, cool. It's been closed for a few years, not long going there since then. It's still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground stops in the city, in my opinion. Emu. I really like to go there, actually. I'm just thinking, um, if you ever want to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. No pressure or anything, you'd probably have a really have have to really help a conductor out to get access. It's pretty underground ruffle. Anyway, I was actually on the floor at that time. But I'd fallen unrelated to love. <laughs> anyway, haha. <laughs> don't don't worry about Night Street, you can forget about what I said if you want. Cool. Who this? The black widow. Uh, what would this person's voice be? Your light! I've been waiting here for an hour! What do you mean you don't work here? Well, it's not as if you'd fault me for thinking so, what with a drab wardrobe, pathetic sunken eyes. Everything here is a clear stink of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in a deep morning, not all involved in the mysterious circumstances a police I cannot explain. I am merely a lonely widow, left behind from the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. Oh, Horace, I wish such a wonderful wisp of a man, even at his most poisoned. Oh no, is this like the, the, the mother of those two, like, assholes? Even at his most poisoned, he forever remains regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in this obscene, I find in oh, absence, and now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. Pat, you mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I am aware of him. A terrible stain on the bloodline of the Papuli, that Papuli fellow. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed, at the very least, there is little of little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over the coffee table on the holidays. I thought he saw spiders, man, or whatever since. Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. If only my poor dead husband had been less poisoned and I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Do no one think of me and my feelings? Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see you're riding up the vapours? I don't know what that is, but that sounds weird. What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my husband? My late husband's untimely demise? How dare you! How I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I'm visited by Horace's spectre reaching out to me. Perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit from the top of his vast estate. Will nothing stop this ceaseless haunt in? If you could only find it in your heart to help this poor widow, I could give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace and please find out what my dear late husband wants. And what evidence he has. Become a dark patron of this terrifying matron. The bargain of earthly defrights. Follow the ghost through the eye of... Is this going to be another spook? Spoop. Follow the ghost through the eye of the planned shit. He could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. Magical insight into the dearly departed. I have my suspicions. Prove to me that you can contact my beloved date husband, or I shall out you as a charlatan to the entire mean ladies' bridge club.
like a theremin. It does seem like my Horace. Perhaps it really could be him. <clears throat> my throat is starting to fucking hurt. So a yup. No. A yup. Could contact with the astral be possible? Tell us some more, Horace. Like, say if you want, if you know the circumstances around your own death. I want to see this full picture. It looks really cute. I saw that. Will will. I lost them. There's... Spies. Win! Nice. Mmm. You got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. You got a family member. Oh, jeez. It is almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My Horace said he loves me even in his afterlife. What a prince among ghosts. What a special spectre my Horace is. And so gullible. Thank you, dearie. You've given an old widow a reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. I will must tell the children at once, and also hide some sensitive items in the toilet, perhaps. I simply don't have more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Nice. Hey. Oh, my voice is getting fucking hoarse right now. Are you there? It's, it's Pat. No. I know we haven't figured out what the family's total nefarious secret is yet. Well, but maybe if we walked, walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? I'm on my way. <sighs> Who's this? Look at this spooky guy. Sleaze Arias. Uh, what would this guy's voice be? Um, well, hello, man. A pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I, you. You see, it is within my very nature to skulk mysteriously around corners and like in deaf silence. I don't like the shadows on his eyes. My mother was a mysterious slipper designer, and my father was mysteriously absent. Oh, uh, let me. Is there a pause? Okay, let me let me pause and then go get a drink. So let me BRB because my throat is hurting after three hours of this. Uh, so BRB.
Why does my microphone keep turning off? Ah! Microphone keep turning off. Okay. I didn't want to go into that spoopy corridor. That wasn't even intense Halloween decoration or proof that life persists beyond a small coil, if I'm not really happy about it. I was, af I was afraid that that ghost was going to go like... <laughs> uh, hi. Aww. Uh, I think we might have walked in on something sensitive. It's Bonnie and the waiter. Bub. Bub and Bonnie. I'm lost already. <gasps> oh, it's the cool guy. Whoa, that guy again? I wonder what pink stuff is probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half-life. Like how it does like a clap and like a woo in the background, like he's a sit sitcom character. I feel like I've already been this way. Probably. Please tell me I don't have to go through the dark evil corridor. I think I already went this way. Oh, you can walk over this table. Okay. Uh. Mic check. Mic check. Call. I guess we're going through the spoop corridor. <sighs> okay, less spoopy. No, it's following me. I should never have bought that dresser from Nanamu. The deal was just scary as, uh, as its obvious possession. Sadly, ghosts are, in fact, illegal in America. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Oh, what? Can I not go through here? There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark is a sediment of a broken hotel wall. Is that stuffed? D did you see it move? I think I saw it move. Soundtrack guy. What, oh, Mandy? I, I ask what he's doing here, but he's attracted to spotlights, like a moth that smells like hair gel. <gasps> the birthday party. so happy they're not gonna murder him it's not moider after all <gasps> look at that hench bird having to sit still for this long is harder than that time I 
did a squat on and my pants split to the meaty glute offshoot. Oh, is that what it was? At least when I got new yoga pants and raised $100 for guys without thighs. It's an important organization, bro Yoko. Oh god, what was this voice again? Sup, old and moldy? You down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how do you resist one last score? Yoink. <laughs> this, this is the worst bar I've ever been to. Oh, it's simply dreadful. Even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rap party back on uh, all the Gucci modeling shoot I did. That's Gucci adult size baby bonnets for strange alligators. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex boyfriend, the house music D DJ, ran through the with the Claymore. I for sure wasn't anywhere near where it, near there, of course, but how awful. Simply dreadful. On my way over, I passed an abandoned Mr. Hoopledoom's home for spooky 1800s children with coughs. And wouldn't you know it, my phone stopped working again. All it does now is sing Ring Around the Rosie in slow, haunting manner and, and, try, to, and try to order a stick with my credit card. Mic check. Cool. Just double checking. Oh god, so many people. Oh, if only I didn't make voices for every single character from my selection of four voices. Oh, they are friends. You can't should have uh, seen your faces when you came in. I look like a thousand picks. Pat looked like he thought he was going to die or something. Lol. Hold on, my totally live blogging this. Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pat scared the dark. And hallways. And parties. Can't think of it. This usually doesn't end as well as this. This. That's what I'm saying. Nervous dairy. Good evening and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we cross paths once more. Perhaps we should. We have some unknown star design connection. Or you really want to read my zine about cool wizards? Check it out, I have a whole chapter dedicated to Totapacus to 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 the Groovy. Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten the cold rack shadow with a stapler and jump out the window. Or dump that, that, that punch bowl in the toilet thinking it was poison. This is already going so much better than his birthday last year. Tell anyone about what you saw earlier, and I'll break your kneecaps into pieces, and then the old mates can play match on. Thanks. Dude, I just remembered pulling out that giant fucking knife. Holy shit, that was so scary. <laughs> so, so scary. Oh, what was this guy's voice? Fuck. Hey, Polero Pelly, it's time for an old fashioned handshake. Just an old snail trail. Of course, it's full of vitamins, helps with the drying. Not the uber. And then it comes out of my limbs. Oh, and leaves crying. Oh! Hey, where you going? Yay. I'm, I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here. We go on take big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it really meant so much for me. You're a really special friend. I can't, I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Elfie is ready for a fellow except you. Follow me. Oh, shit. I didn't click on everybody yet. <gasps> I can customize who I look like. Oh, the best part. Head. Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Hmm. Er. I need to have, like, a big snoot. Like, a big jaw. Maybe that. There's so many, holy shit. I wish they had numbers on these. That way I have a I can remember which ones I've already seen and which one I forgot. I'm thinking of this one. If 
Finally, I can make my crocodile alligator fursona. <gasps> oh. I need to have very distant eyes. Although... That's probably closer. I do like these. These look pretty cute. Body. Big. Boy. Regular. Smaller. Big. I'm big, but I'm not fat. Let's go with that. Hair. Oh, there's like a P one. Oh, that looks like a... That looks like the dad from Dexter's Laboratory a little bit. That hair. I like that might be me. Glasses. I can't see any of you, my, my, my glasses. Uh, I don't wear glasses. Color. Oh. Uh... Oh, those eyes. Yeah, they're great. I like it. Yeah, it looks... I like the, uh... The, the... It looks like I got eyeliner, so it looks really cute. Color. Oh, color for the eyes. Uh... I think I might go that green. I kind of like the blue there. But the black one also. Let's go with these. Some, like, blue eyeliner. Is that eyeliner for the eyelids? I can't remember. And for the tie. Let's go black. Hair colour. Can we get like blue hair? I guess that turquoise one is like the closest. There we go. And teeth. Obviously big spiky teeth. There we go, I think that's done. That's me. Mic check. There we go. Yeah, look at them. Wait, where is he? Where is the boy? Oh, there he is. My mouth is just too big. <laughs> he just got, um... The Monsters in character. Aw, yeah. All done. The game is won. The story ends sweet. But though, but though it, though, though, oh shit, fuck, I can read it quick enough. What's really going on? Does our tale really end here? The more family you come up, oh fuck, I can slowly read it. Yay, that game was great. I still need to like beat all the other mini games though. Oh, this game was so cute, but also very scary at certain points. I was surprised how many spoops there were. I wouldn't say very scary, but scary for me. Aww. All of it. Now I really want like a plush of Pat because he looks so cute. Oh, yes. How to try and continue and miss and continue those games that I'm terrible at. Oh well. Did you come back for me? Uh, what time is it? Here we go. Uh, let's see. What game is... Does it keep my progress? Okay, cool, it does. Family badges. Let's go get more. Are there any more people in here? Okay.
Uh, let's go to the Memora Park because we kept messing up that uh, one with the uh, grill. Is that Aaron and Danny? That is definitely Aaron and Danny. Holy fuck. <laughs> He's got the little streak of the hair. I knew it. Okay. Let's go help Dad. Two ton Tony. Hey, you kill. How you doing today? Uh, b -b 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 skip through this so I can get through to the mini game. Next. Okay. I'll play. Oh yeah, look at this. It's got a TV and a bucket. Uh, fire. Okay. What? Smoke. fire on the TV. Don't see what the problem is over here. Maybe that guy's asleep, so I need to boil him. Okay. Okay, so there were like problems that I had to solve that weren't the base ones, I just had to like Okay. Mardi time. Oh no. He's throwing around my tools. Goddamn Mardi. Uh, it is very cold here. Um, let's warm it up. Cold. Nice, we got it. Cool. Solved. Amazing. Ain't she a beaut totally not terrifying of all the sheer amount of things going on or a little a little man in overalls living inside it. Extremely normal. Nice. Oh jeez. Heh <laughs> Deflection. Where's now, kiddo? About the event, I can't say too much, but I gotta, gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why I loves this old man so much too. <laughs> My body is aging rapidly. No one can stop the forward circle cycle of time. See you tonight, kiddo. A shop. Don't be late. Uh, what other ones did I not do? I think I got these other ones. I didn't get all the jigsaw pieces. Let me just check for more ones. Vote Wibblyfin. Says don't click and drag on the grass. It's not doing anything. What's the boy? Unsavory. Hey, it's the big guy. 
Jared. Jared. Just something. Is that what this is? Wait. We're just going to this guy. I was trying to click on the guy going by. Uh, I'll pass. I thought I clicked on that, I wanted to go down Savory. I'm gonna try and help this guy again. This is this is literally Osu right now where I have to click on the fly, it's really fucking like quick. Ugh. Oh, I've got to stretch my wrist for this. Okay. Check my head the butterfly. Keep hitting all. Keep getting juked. Shit. It's like playing Simpsons Hit and Run. Get those fucking bees. But I thought that was a but fly, but I got another butterfly. Sham, absolute gamer right here. All that practice on MGE made me a, a god gamer, by the way. <laughs> Through crystals, channeling. I can't remember what this guy's voice was. Channeling, staying modestly hydrated like advised on social medias, I have been able to reach my most powerful form. Nice. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so long, but a new, more powerful Aiden. A Paiden, as it were. Like how I have been paid in... Like I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. Hi. Uh, just kidding. I feel a human... I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mode. Hey, do you just hear that ice cream truck? Oh, no reason. It's just I like the sound the truck plays. It's a real bop. No, I'm not crying. I can now tell you a bit more about the event now, since I'm being of pure energy and and knowledge given form. But also a being that's like extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little can I tell you? It's concerns for Pat for certain reason. That's really all I can say. I don't know what Lizzie I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure peace or energy are averse to tiny sister punches. Thank you again for spiritual guidance. What you have done for me today is not soon forgotten, at least not in the 45 minutes of short term memory I have. Hey, did you hear that ice cream truck? Nice. He isn't turned to stone. Cool. 
Hey, what are you looking at? Are you trying to listen in on exceedingly private rooftop in the uh, thing? Be the creep. Yes, I am. We're not even talking about anything interesting. Move on. Definitely nothing interesting. Just extremely boring things. Yeah, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here in silence. Our mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Let's try one more time. We're definitely not talking about juicy details of Slash of Slasher, his hilarious, disastrous love life. Oh, his name is Slasher, okay. Yeah, hey. He's a good guy. He's just not good at the romance thing, you see. Eric. First day of the spoiling goods store. I needed sneakers. And he was running half an hour late. Because I didn't have the sneakers. Still, so, she had no key time. She ate it. Oh, that's right. And it's going to do the dating game thing again. I think I might have been friend zoned. Maybe he was like, oh man, I like you, but I didn't love you, you know? So I might have to do that again. Which was really funny. He has phone in front of him, so he's just poor and didn't love him, but. Uh, okay. Very out bar. The knife. Uh, okay, let me skip to the dating game bit. This is amazing. To ease on my very sore throat, I'm not going to do Pudge voice for this guy. And sip my milkshake. Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? <laughs> oh, this is great, isn't it? Mic check. Nice. The kids are on break right now, so it's, on, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. You see, I have I have a meet a meet cute, a, a meet cute tomorrow, uh, and I don't know what to do, or say, or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. I'm not usually a blind date person, but she says he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like. Big, which is why I also like broad shoulders. She says he's cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the dojima if you get my drift. I still don't know what that is. I wonder what she told him about me. The fuck is a dojima? I need to look this up. I still don't know what this is. Oh, it's from Yak y Yakuza? No? Or maybe it's in Yakuza? Uh, I, I don't know. Anime stuff, probably. Well, I can pet it. Pet, 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 pet. Now, all this negative feeling has messed with my mojo. You seem to like the strong sound type, and you're cute enough that it, doesn't, that it intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice on my big date. I need a boost of confidence, and I need it now. Yay. I mean, um, cool. Thanks. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're going on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? <laughs> Natural after. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of adventure would I like to go on? Impress me. Um, I stroll the botanical garden. Great, let's go. Well, come on, I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school is empty, don't worry. OMG, you picked my favorite place in the- Okay, nice. I get. I need to get those hearts. I actually love all the trees in this school. It's a nice piece of greenery in a big city, you know. Oh, sorry, I'm breaking character. <laughs> Here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Look at these beautiful peonies. I I have those roses. Uh, I, hope, I hope those roses are in season. Their bloom quality is to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? You think I look amazing too? That's so sweet of you to say. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while <laughs> since I've been on a real... I keep disassociating every so often and being like, What is this game? 
but on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not about staying and getting cozy, but I think the first date should be something special, you know? Hmm, what's this? You brought me a present, but I didn't bring you anything. Now, this is a change of pace. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme. Um, let's go a cute toy. Aw, oh, look at this. Thank you. I have to find a nice place to put it. Okay, they didn't like that as much. A reservation? Well, you came prepared. And dressed to impress. I see that shirt really brings out your eyes. Is that too much? Sorry, where do you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Uh, they didn't like somewhere fancy before. Let's go somewhere cozy. Hmm, quiet and intimate. Sounds nice. We'll really be able to get to know each other. It's nice that you have a local place too. Living in a big, living in a big city for five years, and I, that I finally have my coffee place. Uh, yeah, it was a big adjustment. The city is always moving. I was living across the road from Alligator, New Jersey back then. Please don't ask me about those dark times. There definitely weren't any cute guys in Alligator, Hobo Hoboken, not like you. Uh, let's head over to a restaurant. Ooh, this place is nice. I like that the deco isn't too pretentious. So do you come here often? You're so right. I barely make out of health, health myself these days. I'm so I'm so happy to be here. I'm meeting someone new. Psst, now's the chance to give me a compliment. Uh, you have such perfect teeth. Um, uh, thanks. You have a nice mouth too. Ah, oh, they don't like that. This is me role playing awkward silence. Come on, my dad's gonna be more charming than that. I'm gonna pretend you said I was cute. Move on. I feel like I was. Now I can really be myself around you. It's it's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a long while. It's just hard for me to meet up alligators. I don't do this very often. I'm still laughing. This is precisely what I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say is that I'm having a good time with you. I don't have any plans out for I want to go to Spring Festival with me. You've lived in Alga Studio for how long and you've never Spring Festival? The why did you come with me? There's food, carnival games, whole things too. Why do say we split Jack and head over? Right down the way, let's get out of here. So I've been such a kid, even if I get to Jersey, and the family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me, and as a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. I've been coming here since I was little, and the first time was looks on to you. Uh, carnival game. Oh, they like the carnival games. Oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were such you're pretty competitive. Heh. <laughs> Not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what, if you win, win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the first game first, Mr. Tough Guy, and then we'll talk. <gasps> Is it gonna be a mini game? Okay, now we skipped it. Cool. Mini game within a mini game. Oh, what a night! That guy in the bear costume with all the pretty lights. You know, for the first time, you seem to be really want to test. So I'm relieved you had fun. This kind of thing, I we wanted to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't even sure if it was gonna come out tonight, and a lot of people scared me. You know, a lot of people scared me. Oh, this is the scary part. It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever repeatedly challenging the same person in endless street brawls, slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in the way of my personal goals. <laughs> hey, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. What did I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I had fun tonight. I hope you did too. For Karen's sake, I mean, she takes matchmaking really seriously, and she's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. I like how this whole event is going over like nine times, I'm like spending so much of the time of day <laughs> doing this game. I guess what I'm going to say is, I am glad I met you. Oh, okay. So I didn't get the cool thing. Rip. God, this game's hard. <laughs> hey, it's me, Pat.
I thought this was another reference that I'm not getting. Or if I could just play the mini games, because I need to get that one done. Yeah, don't bop me. Oh, oh, it's just you. I, I, I just, I want to skip through these, but you're so cute. I can't. It, it's... I fought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending on the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare. Do assassins really exist? At least I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my now energy. It was tough times. At for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Like the little tippy taps on the desk. Anyway, do you find anything from the family? Well, well, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, butter in your bread roll, throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls all the time you were gone. Maybe we should go to my hill too, hotel room and feel a bit safer there. Little the less loggy with bread. Let's go. Oh. Thanks for protecting me. Yeah. I like his little gate. It's like boop, 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 boop. cheese and crackers. Close that tab, I need to open it again. My word. Since I already read this, I'm taking it easy on my throat since I've been talking straight for like three and a half hours. But now I get to appreciate the animations more now that I don't have to stare at the text. Oh, look at the dance, he's so cute. Look at the, look at the arm thing, it's like, see how look at this. Yeah. Our families are all trying to kill us. <laughs> that show was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? No. Oh, that guy's room is okay. It still kind of smells like brimstone. Now we have to try and 
100% that date. Also, I feel like there's another jigsaw piece lying around here. There we go. Cool. Nice. Two. <gasps> Three. How many do I have now? Still a lot to go. Wait. That's why I was keeping that knife. From the fucking stabbing game. I'm here to date the sexy gator again. <laughs> Every time, it's such a sudden drastic change. this one. Botanical garden. Yes. Uh, yummy candy. Oh, I don't like that. It must mean the flowers. Shit. Reset. the comfy one. Uh, your tail is so long. That's all being a fight my whole life. Hmm, I felt like the scale shiny one was the best. We've already lost the run. Let's try out the festival food one. Yeah, okay, I didn't think you'd like that because we already ate. Try. Botanical garden. Flowers. Somewhere cozy. Well, I don't know if they like this one as much. Scales are so shiny. Activity. Hmm. I feel like I messed this one up again. God damn it. We try again.
finger is starting to hurt from just spam clicking this. Mag jet. Mag jet. Oh, well, it's probably gonna get cut anyway. Botanical garden seems like the best one. Nice flowers. Somewhere cool. Yes. This got so shiny. Carnival game. I got an achievement tonight was so special, I really want to keep this going. If you don't mind me being a little old fashioned, will you go out with me? Yes! I got it, finally! That was so difficult! What's that achievement? Sotonbury Memorial. Took the knife out of the perfect practice date. Look at that blush! Wow, that was actually kind of freaking magical! If I'm being totally totes real with you. <laughs> wow, I really feel like I learned a lot actually. Nice. I feel kinda of funny now, kinda of flappy in my guts. Must be that knuckle sandwich coming back to haunt me. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. I said, I don't really know a lot about the event. All I know is that I'll be there at least. On account of being invited by a packed mum. Maybe we can hang out at the event I mean. Not like outside of it, like that's the thing. <laughs> Natural after hit. Dude, I'd take that guy. What the fuck? I don't think I spoke to this guy. I've not seen you around here before. I think I'd rather remember a face like that, so distinct, so clearly visible. Spoop. Bullseye. I'm waiting for my blind date. Okay. Screen around at all. Okay. Just in case there was any jigsaw puzzle pieces there. Really. Bugs, bugs for sale. More than one, more than one, even unlike what the uh, sign implies. Yeah, I sell bugs here. They're not for bathing, for eating. We're alligators and we eat bugs, which is something you know because you exist here canonically. Oh, I'm part of this world, guys. I'm so happy. Anyway, you, you, you get by and bu get bug by and or good by and by and kiddo by and go all day. Because I gotta sell bugs to feed my family of different bugs, which I buy from, with an alligator currency. Whomst? Knife, fo fork, knife, and soon. 
Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Jowls Jr., the third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life without, isn't, wasn't without its problems, such as how hard it hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. Gampa, where are you? We'd call with to no avail. It's like he slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. People can be rambling here with the youth with the set of screams and the like. Bug. Pet. Eh? Did you say pet? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Did you see pet? Did you mean pet or pet? You have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to the condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. The event. Eh, event? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see. I forget about things I don't really want to go to. Same! Maybe I'm actually an alligator. Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you held me out of a favor. See, the only fo photo I have left on my dear late wife Martha has been the victim of a wheat thresher incident. Can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd given something to see Marcia. Is it gonna be like a one of those like uh, matching puzzles, like the different squares? Get pieces glued for this old dude. Make my wife, make my wife, please. Click a block to- oh, it is! Click a block to the side into an empty space. Reassemble the picture and gaze upon the architect's beautiful wife. Sure. Shit, I messed it up somehow. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, game developers, I love you, holy shit. It looks like you're not very good at this. Solve? Oh my god. I was about to say. Oh my god. If you're a game developer of this game and you, you're watching, there are so many things in this game that you've done right. And I love it. 
Thank God, because I, 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 I'd probably be here for an hour. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I like how it slowly crept into the screen as well, like... Ahem. Um, looks like you're not very good at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, it seems you've seen the other side now. My... With my secret wife. Secret wife? Could you put this back together too? If not for me, then for the creepy old grand, old coot grandpas everywhere. Oh shit. Oh, this is gonna take even longer. I don't even know what the strategy is for this, if, like, how you group certain things together. Okay, so those ones look like they go to the side. Thank you, game developer. <laughs> game developers. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, Gertie, good old Gertie. It's been years since I looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. <laughs> man-breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reacting to both my lost loves. Martha passed away years ago, but Gertie is just in the witness protection, you know, from all the man-breaking. <laughs> what a firecracker, that girl. On cold days, I can still feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. Eh, yeah, FN? Oh, you mean tonight's FN? Well, well, I can't tell you it's on past my bedtime. I can tell you it's past my bedtime. I mean, folks stay in a plate. Me? I'm in my bed. Six night, six nightly after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings and four or seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. I don't care though, thanks again for helping me out, or should I say, helping three out. <laughs> don't tell my grandkids. I actually did say something, I missed it. Fuck, I missed what I said. No. Oh, I'll check the vault. The upside of streaming. Oh, I don't think I did this one very well. Hello, hello, hello! Hey. Hello!
Nice. Oh shit. Even more. Wait, I thought I got that one. God, I like it was, I kept hitting other people as I was moving to the next one. Oh jeez. Oh shit, I'm getting so many now. Come on, man. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> it's so distinct. There's still so many to go. What am I missing? Nice. I think that game is just pure luck. Because <laughs> I change the cards every time. City pal here. Maybe it's Bonjourno? I've never seen it written out, so I don't know. Of like Italian hello. Do you know? Do you know that's how they say hello? Oh, that's okay, thank you. Uh, I've never seen it written down, so I was confused. Uh, at least that's what it said on the back of my Chris Price's box today. Let's see. There's a lot of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator, New York City. That's why they call it the melting pot. 
Not because the strange smell the sidewalk gives off in the hot weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who you might start a conversation with there. Or they might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. It's a big city full of surprises. Face Constance. Yeah, do you see some see you over there in my cars? Oh, it's this person. I ain't giving it to you. That's the kind of I was giving away your cars was long before you were born. Now now look at me, I'm old. See what sharing gets you? Aging irreparably. One day your skin is sucked close to your skeleton, and then one day you turn around and boom, your gels are hanging out past your collarbones, which is which are hollow on the inside. Is that what you want? Hollow collar bones with a nest of daddy long legs inside you, then stop staring at my carrots. Hmm. Is there any business of me and the nurse that puts the ointment on the back on my back bees three times a week? Stop staring at my carrots. What did Pat tell you to steal his great aunt's cars? Because if he did, I ain't gonna give him his Christmas present this year, which is of course a bag of oranges. A strange scent of popcorn from 1987. Stop sending me cards! Ain't telling the kid nothing. Although, if you could play for information as long as you don't stare at my cards. What'd you say, kiddo? Turn to take one of the constant cards. Cool. Hard mode. Too cocky there, kiddo. These eyes on sale as well. I used to when I bought them off that plate doctor in the mid late 18th century. So old am I. None of your damn bees wax. Just got my own bees to worry about, you know, from my back bees. This is the rule, We're both gonna be there. What do you need to know? Just stay away from stuff staring at my cards before I give you a knuckle sandwich. That's pig knuckle, which I bought a great butcher back in the alley in Sizzler. It's real good, and I want to share. Okay. Hi. Oh my, you're back already. We. I got lots of people now. Fucking dragged out here to put Jason in a position of climb a tree. Oh, so many. Go the old guy at the bottom, maybe. I can't remember how tr family trees work. Do you put like the 
Oh, this person at the bottom. Also, mic check. Also, mic check. Okay, cool. the youngest at the bottom Sweet Geraldine, age tween. What on age appropriate anime forum? Yes. The knife, age 33, occupation, guidance counselor. Face Constance, age 83, doddering, smelling like that. Valentino, age 11, helping out Mrs. Johansson on Thursdays. They're sisters, right? Yeah. Anna Rue, age 77, occupation, purveyor of fine antiquities. Teenage 25, Gant Fly Socialite. Prince Valentino, age 25, occupation, was in that one commercial. For occupation, lovable doofus, biotech. <laughs> Monthly Maria, church rummage sale, cashier. Do 
Dude, don't tell me. Try a dead loving wife. Occupation puberty. Hysteria, age 26, occupation conspiracy theory YouTuber. <laughs> nice. Gentle Lorenzo, age 21, team captain of Trivia Night at the Bo Brodega. Oh, he's actually younger than Pat. He's just bigger. Blue eyes, very busy, very cool business guy. I don't know where this guy goes, I forgot. So, someone older than those people that I haven't met yet? Maybe they're a g g g g g ghost. This one, maybe? Yes. Tall Jared, age 27, sun blocking monolith. Oh shit, I thought he was older. I guess this has got a bigger form. Occupation annoying people. <laughs> One of these people said they weren't like actually part of the family. This one here, wait, shit. Here. And then. Cool girl. Okay. Joanny Pindle was a. She's influencer. Age 50, Soprano. Patrice, Baritone. because I forgot where these one guys go. Nice. 
nice. Maurice. Okay, cool. Seems to find this other random person. take a break here and then come back and play this another time because I've been doing this for like f nearly five hours and my throat really hurts now <laughs> from all the talking which is why I haven't been doing voices for the last bits but this has been a really great and charming game and I love it and the music is great and the writing is great even though the scary bit there's scary bits in there it's like comically scary so it's fine um and the minigames are great especially that dating game segment that was a massive surprise but yeah, this game is fucking amazing, and you should definitely buy it. It's called Leda Alligator, and it just came out on Steam today, as of me playing this. So, I'm gonna go take a break and stop streaming so I can recoup my throat and maybe play this again at some point on the stream. And hopefully my mic hasn't broken. Okay, cool, it hasn't. Cool. So I'll have fun cutting up the VOD at some point as well, for the other people to check this out. So, thank you guys, I'll uh, see you later. Mm-hmm.